Welcome to Rabbi class. This is not in any way a Jewish oriented arrangement or initiative as it may have sounded to you but a midweek church service with an interactive session that can graduate to a debate kind of symposium that will accommodate even rival religious sects. This is that messenger that has a lot of explanations, a lot of answers to unanswered questions that can reap, that can harvest souls of pure humanity in different sects, in different religious sects. But the kingdom of God is something that if you have not understood that, you wouldn't even know the difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. It is bone cracking, it is meat busting, it is truly rabbinical. Well, I will counsel you not to miss the episodes as they are epochal and eye opening. Welcome to Rabbi class. This is not in any way a Jewish oriented arrangement or initiative as it may have sounded to you but a midweek church service with an interactive session that can graduate to a debate kind of symposium that will accommodate even rival religious sects. This is that messenger that has a lot of explanations, a lot of answers to unanswered questions that can reap, that can harvest souls of pure humanity in different sects, in different religious sects. But the kingdom of God is something that if you have not understood that, you wouldn't even know the difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. It is bone cracking, it is meat busting, it is truly rabbinical. Well, I will counsel you not to miss the episodes as they are epochal and eye opening.
Hello. You are welcome to rabbi class. This is not in any way a Jewish oriented arrangement or initiative as it may have sounded to you, but a midweek church service with an interactive session that can graduate to a debate kind of symposium that will accommodate even rival religious sects. This is that messenger that has a lot of explanations, a lot of answers to unanswered questions that can reap that can harvest souls of pure hominids in different sects, in different religious sects. But the kingdom of God is something that if you have not understood that, you wouldn't even know the difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven. It is bone cracking, it is meat busting, it is truly rabbinical. Well, I will counsel you not to miss the episodes as they are epochal and eye-opening. Most Holy Spirit, the God of the Spirit of the Prophet, the God of divine revelations, the revealer of secrets, the giver of gifts, the supreme Lord of hosts, the Lord God of the heavens armies, the corporeal and the incorporeal forces, the great cherubim and seraphim, the archangels and other angels, the ministering spirits, the citizens of the mansions also, the Godfather, the true Godfather of our heroic father, of our titan, our champion, our living legend, the very pride of the mankind race, the Godfather of the principal ancestor of the mankind race, His Eminence, King Adam. The God whose body has no reproach at all. The God whose handiworks or handcrafted works are unmatched masterpiece. The one and only true God Almighty. The God whose gene is the royal gene and the most royal. The God of pure hominids only. The God of gods. The supreme God King of the King of Kings. The God of kings and priests. The God King of nobles, of royalties, princes and princesses. The God of the saints. The living God of the living. The source of life. The giver of life. The fountain of life. The life that is everlasting. The life span that never runs dry. The God that is self-dependent, self-sufficient, all-sufficient, without beginning or end. Knowing the end of a matter from the beginning. The all-knowing. The almighty God, who alone deserves true worship. The God whom no one can kill. The God whom no one can feed whom no planet can starve, whom no celestial or terrestrial kinds of planets, her grounds, water or air, nourishes nor produces what he eats, whom no one, no person, no individual can have to himself, whom no one can own or have or withhold what he eats, whom no planet can host wholesomely or hold hostage, the God that is far, far beyond the rest, the God with whom all things are possible, the God that, ha that has no rival, the God that does not forsake any, especially those who trust or trusted in him patiently. The God whose help leaves no vacuum. The God whom nothing takes on our eyes. The God whose revelations are eye-opening and not eye-dulling. The God whose words are powerful, intoxicating, detoxifying, and dependable. The God among whose spoken words are found Eucharists, edible Eucharists, holy Eucharists, celestial life-giving food indeed and not the achicha or that terrestrial kind of bread baked with or without yeast which can tear or break when bent which house flies can perch on and can even breed insects or ants the god whose words are supposed to be likened to ambrosia nectar and not food for thoughts but food for the spirit being pure hominid spirit being precisely the god who used or who uses celestial gold so precious as that is for flooring celestial planets outdoor the god whose word move mountains whose reign of active revelations changes weather, conditions climate, weathers the storm. The God whose holy messages uninstall the perverse in any planet, chasing away or chases away darkness and matrix stones at the echo, resetting the ecosystem of any terrestrial world gradually for the celestial to take over. The God whose word vanishes anarchy and chaos, frustrates the token of liars, making and proving their divinations baseless, that is without concrete foundation, lies and riotous, 
that is anarchical, cataclysmic, or chaotic to cosmic methodology, formatting trends, thereby initiating changes positively. The God whose doctrines does not include casting of lots, the God who does not gamble nor do things by trial and error, the God whose word is living and active, whose word has microscoping properties, spiritual and life giving properties, spiritual meaning possessing spiritually genetic contents or properties, and life giving simply meaning zoe hatching. Life imputing, life importing, life changing, life renewing, life immortalizing, life preserving, life polishing, powerful, and surgically sharper or more piercing than any two edged sword or surgical blade or blades or needles in life saving operations. The God who speaks things into existence torrentially, calling them definitely and setting their order, and not in any way practicing optimism, faith, or being merely optimistic in his confessions. The God that has no birthday. The God whose source of life and power is himself, his spirit being, and not his word, but his word, his spoken word, has life or power because he's born of his spirit. The God whose surveillance is all-encompassing, whose kingdom is all-sovereign and never or can never suffer. The God that has his unmatched operation avatar, the master strategist, the extraordinary strategist and transition programmer, I fear thee. The wiper out of the multi-generational reproach of the once stamped or tagged bastardized, the resurrector of the father of the people that were once called fatherless, the bailer and resurrector of the principal ancestors of the mankind race, the defender of the widow church, the age is the church run without the husband of that church age, most loving father, most caring father, most model father, the God of the harvest who sends laborers into his, laborers into his vineyard when the harvest is ripe, the supreme master builder of the church, the church that conquered death, We worship thee, our super lover, our highest carer. Thy love does not die at all. Nothing dies or can die in thee, the supremely immortal God. Those wolves and monsters, those wolves and monsters that said that thy love for mankind, thy agape for us, that thy agape are gapped from us by the sin or transgression of Father Adam, those anarchists are damned. Those wolves that called us poor banished children of Eve, those children of anarchy are damned forever. Truly, thy save is total. Thy save is total, O God of our salvation. Thy save is ultimate and homecoming. The lifter up of my head, meaning the resurrector of my principal ancestor, the promoter of my status, the grandest architect and master strategist, the avatar of my impending dangers. Psalms 3, verse 1 to 8. I read as written. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Selah. But, that, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. These Psalms will be better understood today. Thanks, most Holy Spirit, for teaching me and for leading us into this epochal truth about our costly procreation appreciation seed offerings and having to mark it globally as the carnival of carnivals, the God that do the impossible. I'm increasingly, ravishingly, and mesmerizingly in awe and humble admiration of thee, my God. I love and cherish thee deeply with the whole of me, with the entirety of my being. May we hear from thee once again in the simple or simplest language that we can understand. 
you will continue to reign forever. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. In the matchless name of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hello. You are welcome to Rabbi class. This is not in any way Jewish-oriented arrangement or initiative, as it, may, as it may have sounded to you, but a live streaming midweek church service with an interactive section, with an, interac with an interactive session that can graduate to a debate kind of symposium that will accommodate even rabbi religious sects over time. This is meant to provide answers to your unanswered questions and to provide the authenticity of the Holy Scriptures and to prove the authenticity of the Holy Scriptures. Prophecies of prophets penned down, proving that, proving that body of work to other religions of this world as true. Why rabbi class? Because it might not be a nursery class to those of you who are still kids in Bible studies. Because of its in-depth, far-reaching, and spiritual nature. It is bone-cracking, it is meat-busting, it is truly rabbinical. Well, I will counsel you not to miss the episodes as they are epochal, versatile, and eye-opening. And in this edition, or today's edition or segment of this online broadcast or live streaming, I would like to discuss Psalms chapter 3 with you. Going straight to the point, I read Psalms 3. I read from the very King James Version. Psalms chapter 3, from verse 1 to 8. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Now, these very Psalms, they wrote on top a Psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, or Absalom, his son a psalm of David when he fled from Absalom, his son, suggesting then that this is the prayer that David Jesse prayed to the God when he fled, that is to say, he, he ran. He ran from, I think it should be his palace also, because his son gathered some Israelites to his side and then launch or come against his father and so on. Now they wrote that this was his prayer the, and that it, sounds, it sounded this way. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Verse 2, many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Verse 3, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Now, if you look at this, if you look at this very well, you will see, you will see that it is, it is a certain way that David Jesse, we pray these, we say these things to the God because his son came against him. If you look at it, let me leave, read one more time. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? 
Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. There is no help for him in God. This is a man that in the very Israel, in the very Israel, he has, he has, he has earned, he has earned a lot of, a lot of, respect, a lot of accolade. When he, when he killed Goliath, the way he did, it was something else, you know? He was somebody that earned even the seat, S-E-A-T, the very seat of the king, aside the fact that he was chosen, that is, he was anointed by Samuel, aside that, he also it, it was like a, a kind of war. Bef I mean, before he finally was received by the entire Israel, that is the 12 tribes of Israel, and they, they, I think 10, put heads together to say to him, please lead us, kind of. So it is by merit, that's my point. He got that by, by merit. There were reasons that, that Saul, who was ordained king first, before Samuel said again that God has rejected him. At a time, I mean, there were reasons that Saul had reasons to say things like, like he was the, 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 like the wicked, something like that. Why the very David happened to be the anointed? And even the word, touch not my anointed. If, as in my point is that, you know, David, there, there's this thing about him. There's this thing about him in Israel, you know. The, 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 what was like the son of David. You know what that, what that became. I, I, I mean, how many will I point to? And also, this was someone that when he went to or when he, when he led the armies of Israel to a certain war, and it was looking like he was not as strong anymore because of age, you know, that the people had reasons to protect him so much and also showed that they needed him to be alive, even aside leading them to war, something like that. And use certain words. I don't have to like go to where they wrote this. That's where they wrote about this. You know that even they had to, at the time, they had to get him a a kind of another on another wife of his old age, something like that. That is someone that they feel will help him to still stay long. I mean that David is not someone that. based on his legacy, based on what he was able to attain, that the people could see. Looking at his victories as well. At a, t at a time, they wrote that women were singing. That's after he defeated Goliath. That Saul killed his thousands. But David, his tens of thousands, something like that. Now, David, being, I mean, his own son coming against him. And that will shake him so much that he will say these things. Is what I'm talking about here. When you look at that, his, will I call it antecedents? If you look at that, his, his fight, he does, they think how he fought, even when Saul, who was like the, like the king of the entire country at that time, 
at the time that I mean that Saul was was still on the on the very throne, you know. When Saul was looking for him to kill him, he like he 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 surmounted those kind of challenges. He was able to overcome those kind of those kind of challenges, you know. How will de- that very person react this way? Because his son has reasons or had reasons to launch an attack. And then he fled. And then praying to the God, he sounded this way. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul. There is no help for him in God. There is no help for him in God in the very Israel. Remember the son supposed to be an Israelite. Remember the people that the son gathered to also side him. To be by his side. Are supposed to also be Israelites. And that people uh, and that that this one of the words that should come, but I mean, words like many there be we say of my soul there is no help for him in God. There's no help for him in God. This is someone who used a certain kind of weapon, and bring Goliath of God and bl- bring Goliath down. This is someone who has I mean who and I mean he has there I mean he has done things that speaks for him things that showed. That's a, that will make the people know that this person is not ordinary. Something like that. This is someone that at a time, he told a certain tray. The tray were people that he called his, 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 like his mightiest, kind of, in his, his own ranking. That's in him ranking his soldiers. And he said to them that he was thirsty. They wrote that he, he that the, the very tray had to go into the camp of the Philistines or the enemies of Israel, as I mean, that, just that three, because they needed to fetch water from a certain well in that in the garrison of the very en- 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 Philistines, and they went, got the water, and came. And when you look at that, you say, one in terms of strategy, it is is a very bad one. Why? Because of the fact that the people might, you know, like being so many. And coming against that tree, this is not about the tree being so strong now. They entered into the camp of a people because of water. And then you will even ask, why would they go to that kind of a place, like go to camp for war without carrying things like that? But the point I'm making is, is this, that that three people went, got the water, came back. They still wrote that he didn't drink the water, that he called that water bloody. <clears throat> something like that, and pour that water on the ground. I'm just touching these few things to help you know the the spiritual nature of that young man, David Jesse, who st- who 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 started doing things that are that are not that that are almost ranked supernatural. When it comes to the courage with which, 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 with which he, like, go against the enemies of Israel, you know, and so on. His words, when he spoke to Goliath of God, in his words, in the, his words, you will see that this person has some, like, re- what's called revelation knowledge about, I mean, um, I mean, towards the God or about God. That is what he that's that's what he knew, you know. Not just some not not he's not he was not a exercising faith. It was not a faith thing. There were many that were that were even armies, even his brothers were also in the armies of Israel that didn't come out. Not not any of them came out. I mean when Goliath was coming out and raining abusive and insultive words to not just the Israelites, but also to their God. You see. And so on. So when you look at these things, and then look at this, the, the, what they wrote here, they wrote here, 
you know, unapologetically. A psalm of David, when he fled from Absalom, his son. And then, they said that he said these things to the God. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. <clears throat> I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For thou hast met in all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Now, I, I will give you, I will give you, I will call, I will call the, 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 the one I will give you, the Lord's version. I've told you before now that there is the David of the mankind race. And that's one of the secrets of this David, Jesse who is as well referred to as the psalmist. He was, he was said to be the author of the psalms. That is the majority, majority of the psalms to be David that was the author of that. You see? So when, when the, for that reason, psalms, many psalms are referred to as the psalms of David. Now, prophet has referred to, um, the very David, he has explained to us that David is one of those in the kingdom that are in the similitudes. And that, they, that David also played the similitudes of, this, of the very principal ancestor. So that the David of the mankind race is Father Adam, his eminence. Just like Abraham. That the Abraham of the mankind race is Father Adam, his eminence. Prophet has explained these things before now. You know? So the... <coughs> the significance of what David saw that happened in his household. That is his son, like his hair, kind of, coming against him. What I will just touch now, for now, in that regard, that is the very Absalom, is what happened at the time of, at the time that Father Adam was in the earth. Here. The very David of the man countries. So that he had a son who was supposed to also be like that son of his was like the first son, kind of. Who, you know, that thing that, 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 that thing referred to as the right of the firstborn. And that firstborn is first male born. So the right of the first son or firstborn, who is as well male, to be whatever that father of his is or owns. That person, if it is that the father has children, that first male child happened to be the one that's supposed to get the lion's share, like they say, that they call it there. Yeah. Then when it comes to inheritance, if, the, if, it's, a pla if it's a planet, where the, the, the planet like this, where there is death, you know, if the, the dad of the very person happened to go, like go to where goes to go to, it is that first son who has that right to inherit the dads especially the if he's a king then that person is not just a prince among the princes he is the kind they call the crown prince which is simply meaning that that is the one that will be the heir apparent to the throne that is to say he was supposed to be the one who will sit upon or on on, on the throne of his of his father you see then when it comes if it is if it's not a kingdom thing if it is a normal person, I mean someone who is not exactly a king of his people, you know, then that his first son, he, the, he's, he's supposed to inherit the house that the dad owns. That's where the dad is living, is residing, you know. And then if, the, when, if there are now others, other properties, others, other, other properties, other houses or lands, then you now talk about the, those ones being shared to or amidst the other children. And him, the very so first male child, will still have say. That is, he will still function like the, uh, the dad of the very 
as in the midst. So he will still be the one that we that is that will share, like say to this person and that person, okay, this belongs should go to you, and so on, you know. So the issue, the, the that stuff, is something that Prophet has touched before, even in when, in the life of Esau and Jacob, and and he, one of the topics he brought out at a time was the man who saw the stolen birthright, then under it. Jacob is not a thief. So the story of Je Esau and Jacob, you know, you know what they wrote concerning what, how they gave that account. And that this very Jacob was functioning like he was. In fact, in fact, they, they, one of the interpretations they gave to the name Jacob was a thief. And he was a thief. So, oh God, someone who was stealing what did not belong to him, and try try proving it. Also, by a certain incident that has that has to do with him telling the very Esau, "Give me your birthright and take my porridge." Like Esau coming back from the field and being so hungry, then asking for food from the very Jacob, and then ja after the food that Jacob had already made, something like that, maybe for for him to eat. I mean, I mean for himself. Then Jacob then said, okay, oh, you give me your birthright and then have my porridge. And then <clears throat> Esau said, like, what is that birthright of a thing? Like, what's that to me? Let, please give me the food. Like, have it. Something like that. And then they had also written that even when they were coming, as, as, both, of, as both of them were twins, twins, that is to say, unlike Cain and Abel, who prophet said that we are not twins, but rather came came out <coughs> with a twin sister, and that was the first birth, the first birth that took place in the earth here. That is between when it, when, when it has to do with mankind, as Father Adam and Mother Eve. So that that Cain came out with his twin sister, and later Abel also the second time that Mother Eve will, will be put into bed, then it was said and his twin sister. You know, then Cain later killed Abel. You see, and Father Adam has communicated Cain with his twi twin sister. So he was now later, later, Seth was born without a twin sister. That was born just him, and then he was that the twin sister of Abel that Seth later married. Prophet explained these things before now, and called um, and called Cain an impure hominid. That Cain actually was an impure hominid. And so on. Okay, now in the story, in the, when it has, when it comes to Abraham, who was also who also played the similitudes of the of the very Abraham of the man his father Adam. Prophet also brought out certain explanations. I, 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 there's a certain one he 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 called, he he, called, he titled this way. What Abraham knew. What Abraham knew, and spoke about how that when God called that Abraham out at a certain time. And told him to look up, and they wrote it this way: that if he, that God said, if he can count the stars, or if he can, if he can tell the number of the stars, then he can count his children, something like that. And the, and one big issue that the very life of Abraham almost looks like it was revolving around at that time was him getting a child, a child. And then prophet said that what the what God said was not actually if you can tell the number of the stars, then you can count to your children. But that what God said is if you can tell the order, O R D E R, of the stars, then you can count your children. That that is completely different. So that he that God was talking about the that what's called the constellation order, stellar slash constellation order of the mankind race. So that an Abraham, the very father of many, which is Father Adam, that is what he knew that he has to explain. That's what he knew. That is a knowledge that, that anybody in that, in that position must know, must understand. You know, because that knowledge will travel from that person to uh, another. Just like, for instance, in the, in the life of Abraham, there was something that came up. In the life, when after Abraham has given back to Isaac, Isaac to Jacob, it was now uh, in the life history of Jacob that that came up. We, uh, came up. What was that? Blessings that has to be said upon the twelve. You see, then the blessings that had to be said upon the very twelve 
we are sounding a certain way. Some of them was, were sounding like it, they were not blessings. You see? And then also they wrote that Jacob at the time had to rest with an angel of God the way they wrote. For what reason? Prophet said it was actually concerning the name, the name of the nation that the very Jacob supposed to be the progenitor of. But then it was looking like that, Je that Jacob was rather the principal ancestor of that very nation. And that, that was what Joseph sold to the, to the very Pharaoh of Egypt and the Egyptians to showcase Jacob at the time when he, Jacob came with his other brothers. And probably the side of the wives, were, were, they were, didn't throw so much light there, you know, because one also died when Benjamin was born, you know, but because Jacob was in the midst of four women, don't forget. So my point is this, that what about Isaac? Then if, just like Jacob needed a blessing, a blessing that, you know, that they wrote that Isaac told Esau that he should go and get him or fetch him a venison so that, he will, so that his soul can bless him, something like that. And then he was now Rebecca, yeah, who has to reveal that to Jacob because it was like, they made it look like Esau was close to, or closer to Isaac than Jacob. Why Jacob was closer to Rebecca, the mom? So Rebecca has to reveal that to um, to Jacob. Who has to even disguise, as in like like because that Isaac could no longer see at that time. So like he had to deceive Isaac. To to, 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 that he is the very Esau. Because of which blessing? I mean, uh, because of certain blessings. Now, my point is this. Uh, don't forget, even though they wrote all of that, that Isaac got the food, and Jacob thought he was Esau, spoke with, uh, spoke with the person, and still said something like the voice he was hearing, that it was the voice of Jacob. You know, but then the body he was touching, the body of Esau. Meanwhile, you shouldn't, you cannot talk about really animal skin. There's animal skin on somebody's body. And then someone who is blind touching that will say, oh, okay, that's how the body of his son be is. Because the son supposedly is a hairy person. Look at that. Meanwhile, when you talk about to voice, voice reveals somebody's identity as well and when you can touch not just touch the person but hold the person hold the person you can as well say like like what i want to hear you again i mean that ki that kind of a thing the feel or the ha a hairy feel on somebody's palm should not be enough to deceive somebody you know that was not saying so what i'm trying to say is this that that whole story prophet revisited this this that story and touched a whole lot that if you should hear that and understand that you know that, oh, truly, this is what it is. For instance, the very Esau is a progenitor of a certain people today, as I'm talking. How did that leave the two? People that, have, that they, they point to the very Jacob as their progenitor. And the people in the earth today that points to that Esau as their progenitor. Just like in the case of Abraham, there, there, there was this Ishmael, you see. And then there was Isaac. Now... The very Ishmael, there are a people also that the very Ishmael happened to be their progenitor. Then there, is also, there are also a people that the very Isaac, who gave birth to Jacob, who gave birth to 12, and so you see, that, 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 that went. And then how do, you talk, how do you touch these two? Then the story of Hagar and Sarah, or Sarah, how do you touch the two? Now, where the Christians, for instance, are saying that Isaac was taking, Isaac was taking, that's that Abraham took Isaac to a certain mountain to slaughter, to kill, because he, because God demanded for the very person. Now, the uh, that other people or sect are saying that God demanded for that truly, that's demanded for 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 the person or for for a son. That's for his son. But that his son that God demanded, that, that he took to the very mountain of Moriah, happened to be Ishmael. 
You see, I'm not Isaac. Why the Christians are saying, no, that it, it was Isaac. So you can see the the drag. It, it is it is it is it is um, it is, is clear. You see, because the, the the Bible said that God spoke even concerning the son that the very Abraham will, will get from him. That that son will come from Sarah, um, from Sarah, something like that. That at a time that even Abraham has to tell God, oh God, like like interceding for Ishmael, and so on. Now my main point is this: that when it comes to the rancor and a whole lot that that those kind of stories can cause in a planet that's supposed to have a race, that is the mankind race, the planet where the mankind race are supposed to be occupying. The kind of thing that that can be causing. The messages that the prophet has, the things that this prophet has been explaining, when you understand them very well, you will see that that is where the very solution is. You see, he said, for instance, that the mankind race has, his, has her principal ancestral lineage, or ancestor, has her principal ancestor. And that is a tribe, is a race of 12 tribes. And that the very father, Adam and Mother Eve, happen to be the principal ancestors of this, the very mankind race. And that Father Adam who is actually the spirit being of that very Adam, his eminence, happened to be the son that God gave birth to. With, um, I mean, spirit being with that physical body. And then later came and coupled his physical body. You see? And then the spirit being of Mother Eve, it was the spirit being of Father Adam that gave birth to that, that, that produced the spirit being of Mother Eve. And also the spirit beings of the Elijahs, the three Elijahs. And that these things took place in the Father's bosom. And that the Father's bosom is where, in Psalms 91, where they wrote that, like, he, that's who, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That that's the very secret place of the Most High. And that the births that took place, where spirit being gives birth to another spirit being, is called super bio birth. Super bio birth. So that every pure hominid spirit being, pure hominid, pure hominid in, the, in the earth here, that is a human being, has a pre embryonic existence. And that's, that's why you see words like those whom he foreknew, foreknew, he predestines. That's why you see words like, like, um, I mean, that, that, so that they, that, that they might conform to a certain prototype image. And Prophet explained all of that. And, and also how that heaven's worlds has to do with planets that are perfectly finished. It's actually in the physical realm, realm, not spirit realm. And that what Father Adam and Mother Eve did in the Garden of Eden, that they didn't write that way at all, what happened in the Garden of Eden. And that it was a prize, a very serious prize, and that which was the prize for the procreation of the mankind race. And that this was this has been what God has been co like communicating through prophets, but it was so difficult to catch, so difficult to get that, especially accurately. You see, now prophet also said that the very Jacob was not a thief. That Jacob actually is a pure hominid, while Esau is an impure hominid, just like Cain was an impure hominid, and the Abel a pure hominid. And that was the reason Cain came out first. You know, Prophet also explained that. You know, after we said, the same reason Saul, Kish, was called the first king. After which David. The same reason for those kind of, that, 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 um, just let's, like in the case of Jacob. You see, Jacob fled at a time. You see, he fled from who? From Esau. Why? Prophet said it was also because of that same, that's like what happened to Abel. He was trying to reoccur. Because, because of what? Because Esau and Jacob, that Esau and Jacob, Isaac, who was called Laughter, son of Laughter, you see, was also like a foreshadow of the son of Laughter, which is the son of God. Something like that. And that God himself too is the, is like an, that is the, the, if the father who at a time beget an only son, he beget a son that was a son of laughter. That is, he was such a son to him. 
you know and that god it took a, a, a it took a, it, it took quite a long time before he got, he that happened not because he was lacking this it has nothing to do with impotency or, or lack god has okay but that it until god himself desired to you know god has always been self sufficient he has always been all sufficient that's you don't talk about lacking in in defining the attributes of the god okay and then, and that prophet said that that kind of birth took place in that, that the very birth that he is talking about here is the that's that spirit being, being given birth to, with that physical body, and if you don't understand this, you will not understand this where the son of God was given birth to, or how the son was given birth to, that Jesus of Nazareth is preeminence, is the God in an incarnate manifestation who came in the shoes of the son of God to bear the very son of God, mankind. Adam, his eminence, and Mother Eve, who paid a certain costly price for the procreation of the mankind race in the earth here, which has to do with the very, the very people that were already given birth to in the Father's bosom, now having to come to acquire a physical body. Why? Because God himself has physical body. And this is also what will help you to understand what's like, this day have I begotten thee. That the prophet said that they didn't write it well, that's in a certain Psalms. That what's supposed to be there is, this day have I begotten thee fully. Like, I will declare the, the decree. I will surely declare it, something like that. Or I shall declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. Comma. This day have I begotten thee. Something like that. That's the way they wrote that. The prophet said that what was supposed to be there was, Thou and um, this day have I begotten thee fully. And that, that day is actually the tenth day dispensation and that the there's such as the logos of the god of creation and that logos is a 10 dispensation plan you see so that the when it comes to the angels when it comes to the cherubim this the cherubim and seraphim they are of a different race entirely and that they have their heaven's world when it comes to the angels they are of a different race entirely and they have their heaven's world you know prophet has explained these things and that is very very important when it comes to also the god of creation that god is one person but operates three different modes of operation. So there's God the Father mode of operation, there's God the Son mode of operation, and there's God the Most Holy Spirit mode of operation. And when you don't understand this, you can never know the, the true identity of Jesus of Nazareth Prominence, who at the time said, I proceeded from the Father. I go again to the Father. Which prophet said that what he said is better this way. That's in terms of um, um, defining it. I prosubstantiated from the Father. That the Father is the God in his capital size, in his ultimate size, in his total size, in his complete size. For in God the Father dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You see? So, and it is in that state that he hangs planets. He hangs planets on air. Like the, you see the earth and other planets, for instance, hanging. That the God that do those kind of things, the God of creation, is bigger than the, those things. Then there's another mode of operation that he, that is another mode he can operate when he intends to enter inside the very planet that is already hanging on air to continue works of creation. You see, that mode of operation is called God the Son mode of operation. He's the same God. But then, in a pro substance, that's like, it's like spirit being from spirit being. Physical body from, okay, that's spirit from spirit, body from body. Bone from bone, something like that. That's the pro-substantiation in question. Now, that's amongst what God can do. You see, that when he does that, the end result be, we become, we will be smaller in size. That's the difference between that God the Son and then God the Father. But that God the Son is not the Son of God. He's not a son. He's not an offspring. It simply means that when he goes to do what he, wants, he was supposed to go and do and finishes, he goes back again into that very... God the Father, I'm going to that Father, um, I mean, I mean, God the Father, um, that, that's God the Father where he prostituted from. You can see. So it's not like he's another person who ha will now be on his own and can stay forever out of where he came from. He's the same God, okay, in a prosubstantiated state. And that, that's why, like, for instance, there's this person that, vis that came to Abraham who was referred to as, as, as the, the king of Salem. But it was actually Jesus from in, in that in his that's before he came through the, the womb of Virgin Mary. That is the same God. It is the same God that was referred to as the Melchizedek. All of that. You know? So is that same prosubstantiated um, God and then transubstantiate again. 
So he can prosubstantiate. That's prosubstantiate means not just spirit from spirit, body from body, but he's of same glory. That he will go that way in the glory of the very God. The go I mean, the very Father. The life and power of the very God, the Father, is also in him. So that's why he can enter into a planet like, like heaven's world and build infrastructures like a place was referred to as having 12 gates. And you are talking about heaven's world, for instance. Now, it was built. That gates means you are talking about physical matter, like solid matter. It was, he entered inside to do those things. So that is the way, that, that is the mode of operation that God uses. So that is also the God, the most Holy Spirit mode of operation. Prophet said that the, the Spirit of God Almighty is to be called most Holy Spirit, not Holy Spirit. That the Spirit being of pure homie needs, like these people, the Spirit beings I'm, I'm referring to, that was given birth to sp uh, in the Father's bosom. These are spirits, spirit beings that are pure homie spirit beings. They are referred to, they, you, can, you refer to them as Holy Spirit, like the Spirit being you. You are a spirit being programmed in the soul and immersed into a physical body like you, the body you have now. You are not the body. The body is only your body. And it formed in the womb of your mother. And that body is mortal. It is not yet of same of one element with your spirit being. Your spirit being has eternal life in it, in him or her. That is to say, the life that we, that is the reason when death happens to the body, the physical body dies, then the spirit being in the soul is ejected. And that's what it means to be a ghost. Now, that spirit being becomes a ghost. That is to say that that spirit being has life that is everlasting. So the mortality is with the body, not the spirit being. So the, the unism of the physical body you have now and, that, and, the, and the spirit being in the soul is not yet achieved. And that is what, when you understand, then you understand what, why Jesus Christ experiments came with the message of everlasting life. So there is such as everlasting life. You see, that was like, I, 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 I mean, I put before you death. And life, choose life that you live, was not what he said. What was supposed to be there is, I put before you, resurrection from the dead or resurrection from the grave. And the express immortalization alive. He said, choose express immortalization alive that you live without dying at all or without testing death and so on. So the aspect of what Jesus was like on two or three occasions in the New Testament, where he will make comments like, like I mean, he, those that kept my saying, something like that, we not taste of death. Like, you know, he said that also to Martha when he was about re I mean, restoring or, or um, um, raising Lazarus back from the dead, something like that. You know, there was this comment he made. Then a, a, a certain one again, he he was he spoke to a certain people that made them say say that they, he said they wrote that the people said now we know that you have a demon. Imagine that kind of thing, and said to him this social person died like the father, like Abraham died, the prophets died. So what, how say you so, so thing? You see, if it is not a factor, well, let me leave that aside. As my point is that the words of Jesus of Nazareth promise, the messages of Jesus promise was misunderstood. Imagine this is 2,020 something years approximately since he came into this earth. I mean, when he came as, G, as, as Jesus, Jesus Christ. And the message he brought was not yet, it was not still gotten. It was not still what the people that are here has, on that has gotten. Can you imagine that? The very message of everlasting life. And also him having to go to where ghosts go to, to bail mankind, was not also what was understood. And that's what I'm still explaining to the global community of Christians today. You see, that the very price, that it, there was a price that mankind, Adam, is among me, paid. And that God, what God coupled with his own hand, with his own hands, don't you think is supposed to be something truly of, of a high value? It is the God of creation we are talking about here. Look at what human beings are building today. Look at even the, even the mannequin that they are building, how they are. Look at many things, I mean, even things that they, they, they build or manufacture and keep out there for women. Even if, you, if it's hair, hair, or, do, or what they call, you know, weave on, and so on, wig, okay? Look at how they are looking. And some of, this, some of the things that, they, that human beings are manufacturing, that they can use, that means to look better. So what about the God? What about the God then? You see, so there is, the, there is what the, you have to, you, uh, that, that's what that the people are yet to understand. There's what they have not yet understood. Just like, just like I, I, I touched these things, I thought. Imagine the prophet said that Abraham going with Isaac, 
for instance, to the mountain of Moriah for that thing that they wrote, that he was, that was what, that God, like God, he, that they made it look like it was a test from God. But then that God can demand actually, or that do demand for things like that. That he was not actually what God can demand from anybody. You see, and that Abraham didn't get a certain thing that God was saying, which was what? When they, where they wrote, like God said, you, like you give me this son of yours, the way they wrote that, that you love, the son that you love. But that was not what God said, <coughs> meant. I mean, they didn't write it well. Now what God meant was, you ensure that that child, that child you love so much, that you bring the very child as a living sacrifice to me. Now what does that mean? Being a live, bringing a living sacrifice to the God. What it means that you ensure that that child that you love did not taste death. You ensure that that child you love is expressly immortalized. That is what it means. And how you do that? How you do that is through feeding by feeding the child with the Eucharist. And the Eucharist are the very things that Jesus was do refer to when he will make when the, he make comments that they wrote this way. Except you eat my flesh or drink my blood, you have no life in you. Prophet said that what he said that they wrote that way actually is, except you eat that substance that has my genetic information, you have no everlasting life cell system in your body. So the Eucharist, or like when he would say things like the, 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 the word I speak to you, they, are la they, they, they wrote it as there are spirits and life. Prophet said that what he said was that they are spiritual and life-giving. And that that life-giving means zoe hatching. That zoe is a cell. And the cell is the smallest unit of every living organism. So living organisms are not just the ones you see here. This is a terrestrial kind of a planet where everything in that very planet has limited lifespan. There is, there is the supernatural realities, like, you, like angels. Angels also, they have their small, the smallest unit of their of their, their organism, that is their physical being, physical body. They are, the angels, they have two wings. They are celestial citizens. They have their heaven's words. The cherubim and seraphim, they have six wings. So there's such as angels, zoe. There's also such as the cherubim and seraphim, zoe, zoe, okay? Zoe cells. Then the mankind too have, have theirs. I mean, and man in the earth here is in a fallen state. And that's the prophet said that it's not like they wrote, for all have sinned and fallen short of, of the glory of God. Prophet said, not at all. The glory of God is unmatched. And the, the God is the God Almighty himself. His glory surpasses everything that you talk about as celestial glory. That is when you talk about like the angels, they have their Shekinah. You talk about the cherubim and seraphim, they have their shekin Shekinah. The father Adam himself too has his, but he's the superior. To the uh, I mean to these other ones and so on. Prophet has been explaining this thing. So it is actually something that is is it is what we take over. It is what we take over. It is such a breakthrough. It is such an intervention, a, a divine intervention. Okay? It was never expected. It looked impossible. It was not something that was expected that it would happen. What I am doing today is written in the Bible and so on. So what I'm trying to say is this, you know, I've always liked to touch a whole lot before I go to the topic. Because of time, I would like to go to the topic again, okay? So you, if there's any that I touched and I didn't really explain well, you can as well send a, you can, you can send a question to askprophetobin at gmail.com, okay? You can send your question also to that very, plus, um, that, that very mail. And you get the you get the answer you get the uh, you get the answer to your question maybe the next rabbi the next rabbi class the rabbi class holds every Wednesday that's Wednesday into Thursday of every week you see so it's a la it's a, it's as a, we, we stream live it is not a joke at all but you really you really need to follow that is you really need to like give quality attention to this there is nothing that is so great so serious. That's supposed to give you serious results, fruits that is that are long lasting, that is not that you are not supposed to give quality attention to. It is by law that way. You cannot manipulate the laws that be. I am telling you the truth. It is when you are still a kid, when it comes to things like that, that you think you there may be a shortcut to it. Not at all. The tree that will give you fruit, for instance, that that within three months, four, the tree, the seed you sow, 
you sow has grown and start bringing forth fruit, like maize, like, uh, you know, maize. You cannot, I mean, the, the, the maize will give it, uh, yes, that's true, but then the maize will die, you see. But when it is, uh, I mean, the maize will die after that. But when it's certain trees that will take longer period, you see that those trees, not just the year, the first yield, they will continue to also yield fruit. But, they, but then they take more, they take a longer time. Like the orange, you see, and so on. Look at the mustard seed that Jesus Christ also pointed to, and say things like the the kingdom of God. That's where they wrote that, or the kingdom of heaven, is like a grain of yeah, kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which happens to be the smallest of all seeds. But then, if it if it grows, it becomes something that even birds of the air can come and find shades in. There's much more in what he meant there. Just like he said also, he that put his hand or lay his hand on a plow, P-L-O-U-G-H, and have reasons to look back, is not worthy of a certain thing. The salvation of the Savior. That is what he meant there. Okay? So when you are serious truly about what God is saying, what has God been saying? What is salvation? Is it real? Is that, so, is, is that the God of creation? I mean, what are the sacraments? What are they for? Baptism, being a master and brought out of water. What does that mean? What's, the second? What's that all for? What's that? If, I, if, I, if, I, if I did not get baptized that way by the right person, am I supposed to lose anything? What should it cost me? And so on. When you really, really be desire to know these things, I want to make it. I want to make heaven. And so on. I want to really understand God too. I want to be. I want to be a true worshiper. That's when you have started what Jesus meant. His parents when he said, "Seek, ye shall find." That seek, S E E K, like it sounds simple. It is very, very profound. His words are so profound. God is all seeing. God is all hearing. You cannot cheat him. You can't cheat God. Cannot be cheated. You can't outsmart God. Okay, when you truly pray, seeking, when you are praying to the God, be, as in seeking, and the seeking is not a lip service, that's my point. God hears you, and he has, what he has done, he did it before any pure hominid is brought into this earth, through the, the womb of his or her biological mother. It is called predestination. That's what it means to those whom he foreknew, he predestines. Okay, and there was a reason for that predestination, for that, that was to conform during transfiguration <clears throat> to the prototype, phys the physical body that God coupled. You see, in Jeremiah, it was written that God told Jeremiah, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, I knew thee. That was still defining the for new. For new is a knowing before the biological, before the conception. The conception are two here. One has to do with the, that the, what came from the man to, to fertilize the egg, and then the body start building. The second one has to do with the spirit being entering into the body that has formed to some extent. All of them has to still do with, the, with conception. That God referred to as, the, that's the biological. He told the, the, Jeremiah, I knew you before that. You see, Jesus Christ faced, faced a certain people and said to them, I came from above. That was the reason he said that. Then he said to them, he came from beneath. Then he said to them, ye are like your father, the devil. That was what he meant there. There, are home, there is such thing as pure hominids and the impure. There are pure hominids and there are the impure hominids. Even um, where the, the celestial citizens are, like the, uh, I mean the cherubim and seraphim, and then also the angels. Like there are the, the people that are referred to as the fallen angels. Fallen angels are angels that are impure hominid angels. <coughs> Nothing takes God unawares. They never took God unawares. Where their spirit beings were shot out from is called the abyss. A-B-Y-S-S. And that abyss is the, is the abyss of Revelation chapter 9. It is different from the bottomless pit referred to in Revelation either 20 or so. That has to do with a mighty angel that laid hands on the, on the very serpent that was called the old serpent. And bind him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit. All of these things the prophet has been explaining this. This is something that, you know, if you really understand, you will see that it's truly something that is like food that you in meditating. You will see that it's something that feeds you. You see that it's something that teaches you, like, and you are knowing. You will know that the thing is not 
controversial. That is, it is the kind that actually can harvest, it can harvest souls that are supposed to be harvested. Pure homini souls. Human, I mean, it can harvest people in from whichever place the person is. If is the person, if the person is a heir of salvation, if the person is among the pure hominids, no matter where the person is, the issue is the person getting to hear about this. And also listening and listening and listening and listening. It is just like the light that when you turn it on, you will see with the mortal eye you have, you will see things as they are. That is how the thing is. You see. So like I like I was saying, I want to Go straight to today's topic, okay? Now, to start with, Prophet, when he prayed, he said that these Psalms will be understood today. Then he also said that, I mean, the Psalms I refer to as Psalms 3. Psalms chapter 3, okay? And then he also said that he will call the rendition he will give you now, he will give you as the Lord's version, which is simply meaning when you, are, when you write it, <coughs> when you write the the rendition he will give you. You will put the Psalms 3, then in bracket, the Lord's version. The Lord's version he means here, the Lord there is the Son of God, Adam, his eminence. He is the very person that was given birth to, his spirit being was given birth to in the Father's bosom, spirit being with a physical body. And God later remo unplug what is a genetic material from him to couple his physical body. When he finished, according to the son he gave birth to, then he immersed the spirit being of the very father Adam into the body. And that's that, and they become one. That is what, like one plus one equal to one. So he was giving birth to spirit being without physical body. Okay? And that was what was, that was what, if you see how that God, I mean, when he intended to couple the physical body of Mother Eve, he now went to the physical body of Adam. And he has to, in fact, he was, there's a cost implication of it. That it, it affected the very father Adam in such a way that the road that he went into or fell into a deep sleep. But they didn't exactly explain what caused that. It was as though God was a magician who just maybe did, did hand like this and, and he fell into a deep sleep. Prophet explained what caused that. And God's own complexion, how it is. God's own temperature, how, how he, he is. These things are so important as they help you to understand certain things. A lot. Like God has been seriously blasphemed. Many things point to his character negatively. Many things try defining God's character. That the immaculate God, the most immaculate. I mean, I mean God's, God is spotless. God cannot conceptualize evil. God is, like, I mean, there's a whole lot in the Bible that you have now, okay, in the earth here. That, is, that, 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 that blaspheme the image of God, that blaspheme God in such a way that it is terrible, you see. So what I'm trying to say is that many things, many things, some via translation, that happened. Some was implanted, kind of, you know, because the very Israelites or the Israel in the earth here, the very people that are known to be Israel, you know, being the custodian of some of these scrolls that, they, that were words from prophets who are like the mouthpiece of this God in question, who also send the, the, those things, which I explained to you that it's like the decoder in your house, the satellite dish outside, and that there has to be like a, 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 like a signal sending with the signal receiver will receive, and that's, there has to be an interpretation. That is to say, the prophet can receive that thing, and while interpreting what he received, he will not uh, interpret 100% accurate. So it is not like somebody telling another, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, okay, he's, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes, yes, that's what I, what I mean is that A is for Apple. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. God said that A is for Apple. Then he said, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, okay. Then B is for ball. Hope you understood. B, B is for ball. Let's, oh, he just said now, B is for, it was not that way. Else, God can talk to anybody. That, that is, that's not, not, like nothing made prophets, prophets. You see, believe you me, there are the hierarchical order. There is the hierarchical order when it comes to spiritual offices. As far as church ministry is concerned. Okay, prophets are like, like when they wrote that God told Jeremiah, Thou art my battle axe. A X E. A X E. Battle axe. It didn't mean you are the weapon I used to kill, to cut. To, it was just pointing to building of the temple. And building of the, temp of the temple here also has to do with equipping the, in fact, filling the physical bodies 
that are mortal bodies with Zoe cells. And that's what church ministry called for. That's, what, that's the reason for the gathering of pure hominids in the earth here. It is still the God that do send them. So that same God predestined them. He's, he's perfect way for That's what he, what is the utmost. What God, <clears throat> what God ranked as the most important, like the priority, as far as he, he is concerned for you, is that you expressly immortalize. Every other thing comes following. That was what Jesus Christ meant when he said, seek ye first the kingdom. And every other thing follows. That's also what he meant. And when you look at it also, you see, why, when you're praying, you say, things, you say something like, our father who art in heaven. If you are the one that is in heaven, like you are fine, heaven is a place of bliss. Then the person telling you, my father, who, has in, who is in heaven, is in the earth that has a lot of turmoil, a lot of calamity, a lot of issues, and so on, and you know, and death as well. How will you feel? God wants you to overcome all of those things. This earth is like Egypt in the similitude. It is terrestrial. There are things that are in that. In that in, okay, uh, but you have to understand even why the earth is this way. Why the God of creation left the earth that way? The, the earth, uh, earth. Like, like you have a lot of things today as the amenities. When Adam and Eve, their eminence, and also some others were in there, do you know if there were any, any of these things, like, ele 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 like electricity, like electronic appliances, which are helping people that are staying here? You know? Talk about, like, you have toothpaste. You have, tooth, you have body cream. You have hair creams, or body creams, hair creams. You have what you use to comb your hair, or if, if you want to. I mean, so many things you can talk about. The, you know, okay, if they are there, if you want, if you're talking about cooking, you have cooking pots. If you're talking about, I mean, utensils, there are kitchen utensils. Name them. What about that time that there were no these things? There were not these things. Talk about the micro, microscopic organisms that are disease-causing organisms alone. What if you just want to wash your hand, there's soap for you. There's just soap you use to wash your hand. Do you know if, if there's such thing in the earth at that time? You see, what about, I, I mean, I mean, and so many other things. So, there was a reason that the earth was left, that, that the, the way it was left. Are you getting it? There was a reason. The earth was left, that, that is, the earth hanging on air with other planets. But then, God, the very God of creation, did not build one house. He didn't say, okay, let me build this one so that Father Adam and Mother Eve, at least, will see where they will stay. Because, that's the, that, you see, the prophet said that God starts and finishes. If he should delve into that, then, then you are talking about heaven's words. You see? So you say, oh, no, even if he's, even, no, he doesn't function that way. And, and look at it today. Mankind has also shown that they are like God. Man is like God. You see? So my point is that there is a whole lot that you should really understand, my dear, so that you, be, you, that you have a good immune system immune to a whole lot out there that is bent on miscommunicating the truth that is bent on miscommunicating the god to you and so on you really have to understand things for yourself it is very very important i am telling you many delved into church ministry because they considered it a lucrative business she um, wolves in sheep's clothing even that is to say even their hominids in mortal body they have been to church ministry, just like people, just like, you know, people go towards the direction, they, they feel that there is money there, and so on. You see, so I will counsel you that you take your own salvation seriously. That's a whole, the salvation message was not what, what they preached. Salvation, what salvation is, was not what they preached. I am telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. And the very message they preach out there is what is, it is what is causing a lot of criminals to have impunity. That is what is building, rather. Somebody who is doing some things that are terrible, we feel that there is the blood that is even stand by. <clears throat> that that, that he, he, he should just do this and that and, that, and, that, and then that's it. He will be washed. So somebody who is a thief, who is an assassin, Someone who is a kidnapper, name them. That's, I mean, heights of, 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 of evil. We now feel, oh, I can act. I mean, no matter, how, no matter, even if your sin is as red as crimson or scarlet, the blood of Jesus can, can wash you and you become whiter than snow. 
Then I don't have to talk about, I mean, for um, uh, the one that has to do with, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation or new creature. Oh, I, I mean, all things, all old things, old things are, have passed away and all things have become new. Imagine that to a, I mean, imagine that to a serial killer, what he will, he will scream at it. Are you sure? Do you know how long people have been looking for what if they do a lot of things that they feel that that nemesis can catch up on them? Then they look for what can wave it out, what can remove the consequences. If there's such thing, that's what is not just human beings now, but the, what is in the system, like a law or in the laws. Do you know how long that people have been like that, like, like even the occult, they've been looking into something like that. They can do so certain things and they know how to go about it so that there won't be anything like the consequence or consequences of what they did coming against them. Look at like that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know? Well, like I said, I want to give you the, cor the correct <coughs> rendition and explanations that will come with it, that will help you understand that this is. That the David of the Mark race truly is the is the very son of God, Adam, his eminence. And that the psalm of David, of David Jesse, <coughs> was because, as that is to say, David being a psalmist, David having that musical instrument that they recognized. And he's also someone who can, with that, he has what he's singing. And that song is not the is not the kind that entertains the world. Like you have many musicians today, that their songs entertain the one entertainment I mean here is promoting immorality, promoting immorality, promoting whoredom, and so on. And people are hailed for it. And people receive accolades for it. And people are receiving awards from it. And the very so-called musicians are so blind that they didn't know what they are heaping up on themselves, upon themselves. Anyway, many of them are impure hominids. You are being hailed for doing what? You are being hailed for promoting immorality. You are winning this award and that award, and so on. You will later realize what you've done to yourself. You don't know what happens where ghosts go to. If you should be shown what happens where ghosts go to, where ghosts go to, you understand that you, it didn't start today. Many, many people that were globally recognized as musicians, they get to that place. I mean, they get to the, that point of their life where when, as they are transiting, like going out from, from this body that is mortal into the ghost world, and then get to the ghost world and decide that they deserve to stay, they will be they will be asking themselves, what is this? Like, what happened? What a life. What a life of, of vanity that he lived or that she lived. You see, <clears throat> Psalms chapter 3, they wrote it this way. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help from, for him in God. Did David Jesse at a time had things to say with his musical instrument? Yes. Did David Jesse at a time has things that he was saying that we are, that we are, that we are referred to as sons? Yes. So what are you saying then? <laughs> what I'm saying is that David played the similitudes. He was amongst the few that played the similitudes of the Son of God. I mean, the similitudes of, the, of Adam, his eminence. Like Samson, the very Samson that you know, the story of Samson. Samson also played the similitude. That is, the life story of, uh, of Samson pointed to the very life story of Adam before the fall and in the fall. Even though many didn't know that that was actually what his life was pointing to. You know? And also Abraham. Abraham, because that, the name Abraham means father of many. Look at it yourself. Father of many. Then, not just that he's, he was, that's the name. He was called Abraham as the father of many. His wife, again, was also called mother of many. That's what he means, Sarah. If Sarai became Sarah, Sarai, S-A-R-A-R-A-I, then Sarah, S-A-R-A-H, then you compare to Abraham, then, then also Abraham. Then prophet, okay? So that, 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 that the, the very Abraham, meaning assumed father, assumed father. If you look at it very well, you see that the people would not have been coming to him to call him assumed father. Assumed father. I, I just came to 
As nobody will, in fact, <laughs> I mean, the person will tell, will tell you, please, please, what's that? No, no, no. If you must call, the father should be there. Remove the assumed. Even if you should, even if you are zooming it, you don't have to call me assumed father. You rather say father. You see? So what I mean here is that the name Abraham was not exactly meaning lit to be literally taken as assumed father. It was just like many people are calling him father. Father. That, but he, ha he was not their biological father. You see, while that was pointing to Father Adam in the Garden of Eden, when he, he was yet to beget biological children, so that he was, so he was the person called mankind. That's what Adam means, mankind, his eminence. And then mankind, that mankind is a race, not just an individual. Then he was Father, he was him, and then Mother Eve, the female. Then there are angels. They did it, they were not, they, they, what happened in the man countries didn't happen there. Like, the, like childbearing is still on. Angels did not, they, in the heavens world, they, they, they clock complete generation. Like prophets said, there are systems of generation. There's the system of generation. There's the system of regeneration. There's the system of degeneration. There's the system of complete generation. So that their own is a system of complete generation. That that's how the cherubim and seraphim clock that, that is, they were mass produced. The same way also where the angels are. These are creatures. The mankind, when it comes to the mankind race, the relationship between the very mankind race and the God is not creator-creature relationship. It is father-son relationship. But that race is, that it became that many from one person. And that one person is the son that God gave birth to. Spirit being with a physical body. And later came to couple the physical body. God gets it at first. He is, he is perfect. And nothing takes him on unawares. Where they wrote that God was even calling a people, like, where are you? Like, where are you? And then also reacting like, who told you that you are naked? And so that all of that made the God look like something took him on unawares. He, he met that what he didn't expect. And also that he was, he was, he was like, he's not, like he's not all-knowing. He's not all-seeing. You know? And so on. But even though you may not have seen it that way. But that, that's what it looked like. And that God also preferred that people to be naked as in not wearing anything. And because that's, that means like they were naive. And then, a, and then, the, then the serpent was now the one that was stronger, wiser, and so on. So it was not that serpent who told them, hey, God knew that if you should eat from this very tree, in fact, you will be like God. Meanwhile, the name Micah means like God. And God has said that in the same Genesis. Let us make man in our image to, uh, after our likeness. So how would God not want he, them to be like him when he said, let us make the way they wrote. Let us make that people to be like him. And he never said that when it, when it comes to the angels. That's nothing like that when it has to do, when it comes to angels, the cherubim, I mean, they are bringing forth into tangible reality. That was nothing like that. Besides, at least the little in the Bible at least showed that angels, they have two wings. Cherubim, they have six wings. Do God have wings? No. God has no wing. So when it comes to anatomy, then, then you're talking about look, image. When you're talking about image, you're talking about anatomy. So I'm told God has not exactly a, an image, I mean definite image. This is shocking that God has his definite image. God is a man. When it comes to specie, S-P-E-C-I-E, specie. God is a man. God is not an angel. God is not a cherub. God is not a seraph. He is a man with two hands, five fingers on each, two legs, five toes on each. That's his dentition, his two eyes, and so on. But then the man in the fo in here is in a fallen state. Prophet is explaining these things. There's the man in his perfect state. That is what the Bible meant when he said, like, and they like to transfigured. That transfiguration has to do with, the, with a, a return to the glory state. As that heavenly original physical body that God built is. You see, Enoch did not test it. Enoch was not for God, took him. That was what they were trying to write. They didn't write well. Enoch passed through four different transcends of metamorphosis. It is. It is, it is, it is, therapeutic. It is therapeutic, the thing I'm talking about. It's not instant. There's what the word, there's what the revelations, the heart is the way, do. Jesus spoke about the, he spoke about the parable of the sower, and he spoke about how that there is the fruit that the seed that was sown beard produced what was that fruit he said in interpreting it that the seed that the sower sowed 
happened to be the words of God. Then he said that the different grounds, different textures of grounds, has, has to do with the hearts of men, or hearts of men and women. People that heard those words, where it, get, it got to, the final abode of that. Why would you explain that? Then he said that that thing sold, brought forth certain things. Well, now he, was, he used words like 60 folds. That's in so 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 fold. In so 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 fold. Prophet spoke about his way. How that he is hatched in, in batches. He's hatched in batches. And that a batch of Zoe is 12 sets. And that a set of Zoe is 12. So 12 sets is 144. According to a certain order also. And that is such as the genome, G E N O M E, genome of Zoe, which is a number that when it reaches, it has, is, is complete. Then what follows is the interlocking of the very cells. That is when the physical body that is that supernatural has become the Lord. That's the reason for words like the garment of praise in the Bible. That's the reason for words like the, 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 the wedding garment in the Bible. Garment there is put into physical body, not apparel that you wear. The prophet has been explaining these things. I want to give you the current rendering of Psalms or the Lord's version of Psalms chapter 3. Psalms chapter 3. And the topic, of my, the topic of my message today is, how are they increased that trouble me? How are they increased that trouble me? Then under it writes Psalms 3, verse 1. Then I explain. You see, first of all, the word, how are they increased? was something that at a time was, or at a certain time was in the mouth of Lucifer. How are they increased? How are they, the day I mean, the, I am referring to, happened to be Father Adam, Mother Eve, and the children they gave birth to. The children giving birth to another. Giving back, and the ones they gave back to, giving, giving back to, as in, how are they increased? Heaven's world was not to where that kind of thing happened. No angel gave back to another angel. Or no angel gave back to another angel. No cherub gave back to another cherub. So the prize for procreation of the mankind race was something that was hidden. It was not, nobody saw, actually, that what happened in the garden of Gats in the garden of Eden was a price that somebody paid or was paying for something. You see, and that was why, for instance, the serpent. Prophet said that the very serpent, the original identity of that serpent, that's the real identity of the very serpent, is actually a seraph. That that serpent of Genesis three is a seraph, and that garden of Eden is a heaven's world. It is the heaven's world of the mankind race the main place. And the city is not yet unveiled. It is the garden that was unveiled, even as I'm talking with you, until the 10th dispensation. That was, that's when, when I preached a message, I called it the unveiling of the wonder city. That was a lot I, I explained in that message at that time. Revelation, Revelations is a very good friend of mine. Revelations, I love that place. I love that place so much. Like, like, it's a, like a river, I swim so well. Chai. Like Revelation chapter 1 to Revelation chapter 22 can represent Genesis chapter 1 to if I put, if I say the book of Jude, which was one chapter, it, it will look like, you know, I, I, am <coughs> I am not impressed in what Jude wrote, which was just one chapter, the very Jude. 
that after that Jude, you got you get Revelation chapters. And if I say okay, Genesis chapter Genesis chapter one to Malachi, Malachi four, it will look like I am being segregational. So I left Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Why did you leave them? What about what? So if that means that Revelation chapters one to twenty two cannot represent them, then you know. But what I mean here is this. There's a lot in the book of Revelations. A lot in the book of Revelation. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Esoteric, yes. But I tell you, there's a lot, a whole lot in the book of Revelations. How are they increased that trouble me? Who, will, who would have believed? How would you have known? That these were the words of Lucifer. How are they increased that trouble me? The current rendering. Psalm chapter 3, from verse 1. They wrote it this way Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. The correct rendering. Or what? The psalmist, the David of the Macandre said was, Lord, comma, my enemies are asking, comma, how are they increased? Comma, how are they increasing that trouble me? Many are they becoming that rise up against me. Verse 2, they wrote it this way. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Selah. The right, the call rendering, or the what the Son of God said was, or the David of the Macandre said was, many more are they becoming that do refer to me as Satan, the devil. Verse 3, they wrote it this way. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. What this David of the Macandre said was, but thou, O Lord God, is where I got my genetics from. Comma. The superior celestial glory, or Shekinah, that is evidently superior to that of the heavenly creatures. Dot, dot, dot. Thou, O Lord God, is my Bela, and my resurrector. Verse 4, they wrote it this way. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Selah. What did David of the Mancandre said is, I pray, not I prayed, I pray, P-R-A-Y, I pray to the God Almighty, addressing him as my father, and he answers me. From where he is, without any mediator. Verse 5, they wrote it this way. I laid me down and slept. I awaked, for the Lord sustained me. What the David of the Macandre said was, if I go to where ghosts go to, I will be resurrected at the appointed time and restored because the Lord will propitiate as my substitute and ransom me. Verse 6, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. What the David of the Mankind race said was, I will not be afraid of the plots of ten thousands of the aliens that have set themselves against me round about. Verse 7, they wrote it this way, Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. What the David of the Mankandre said is, or was this, O oh my God, thou hast smitten all my enemies upon their cheekbone. Thou hast rendered the ungodly toothless. Now, I want you to remember this. He was, the, what's, the, what's the, mat, the subject here is, somebody was saying, how are they increased? Did you see? Something had happened in the Garden of Eden. And then somebody took the, took the 
appraisals that he was she was the she was one that carried it out they were the mastermind they allegedly plotted the downfall of adam his eminence as they that's what they believed and it happened meanwhile no nothing like that happened before not there's nothing like even falling from glory state like i said that i mean i mean before now and i said that the god's glory is unmatched so what father adam and mother Eve fell from is celestial state they fell from celestial state simply meaning by the through the alteration of zoe self system with father adam and i mean consciously carried out by it setting the altar first by eating tw from 12 celestial plants or trees and then the 13th was what brought the alteration and took also um, along, um, Mother Eve alongside, who knew the implications. They understood the logos perfectly well. But Adam was also teaching Mother Eve, you know, oh my goodness, what a principal father we have. What a principal ancestor that we have. The son that God gave birth to, the almighty God gave birth to, and so on. People do say, for instance, there is only one God. There is only one God. Do you know that is not true? The son of God is a God. The Son of God is a God. There is only one Almighty God. The Son of God is not Almighty God. The Son of God is a mighty God. Is a mighty God, but is not the Almighty God. The Almighty God is one. One person who operates three different modes of operation. And you have to also understand that. God the Father, God the Son, God the Most Holy, Holy, God the Most Holy Spirit. The, what was referred to as the Trinity. You have to understand that perfectly well to know the difference between, the, between God the Son and the Son of God. The very the Lord that said to my Lord, the Lord said to my Lord, sit thou at my right hand, at my right, at right hand, at, until I make your enemies thy footstool. You see, and so on. What is the Lord that said to my Lord? Who is the my Lord? Who is the other Lord? And so on. You have to, you have, that's what you should know that should set you free from a lot, both religious fanatism, religious harlotry, and so on, my dear. Jesus must call that the truth. Say, so you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free it is something that has cost it it is so it's a cost many even their lives here in this earth you don't have to join that queue a lot are in that queue not just are on the road that 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 is broad they are in the in a queue to a place the end of that is death it is so certain there is the road that is narrow there is the path that is narrow. that path leads to life jesus Christ was one who pointed to that that and that, that there be few that found it. That path that is narrow is what I'm talking about. It has to do with the road that leads to life expressly. It, you, you go through four transcends of positive metamorphosis. The very Gilgal, Bethel, Jericho, and Jordan of the Bible is not what you think it is. The Bible is not what you take literal. The, what they sold out to you, what they sold out to you as the very gospel is not it. It's not it, my dear. The gospel, which means the good news, which you bring to a leper, which you bring to somebody who has that system of death in his body, is not what they brought to you. It has to do with the good news of you can live and not die. It is possible. There is the way. There is the path that leads to life expressly. It is not to know why, like, wh how and where. That is what I'm explaining to you. You need to eat the Eucharist. Life giving, Zoe Hatching revelations. There are revelations that when they are coming, you, 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 and you are understanding it and meditating in them. Meditating in them, then that's when you are doing it. That's what it means. The life, the, 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 the matter of life and death is in the tongue. That was also what it means. It's in the tongue. It has to do with the eating something. Somebody ate something. Or they ate, they ate from something and then, they, and then what happened, happened. You have to also eat again something that will alter that same se the best system that is in your body. You should understand this, my dear. The Eucharist is a sacrament. There's such as the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. And that Eucharist has to do with revelations that are, that are what? Zoe hatching. That are Zoe hatching. Zoe hatching. That is, that are life-giving. Life-giving. When they say that wo the word of God is life-giving, what do you understand by that? You think it is life-giving means it should be taken just, just, um, that is, like, like, like it is, that is taken to be like, like um I mean like carbohydrates that's what it gives protein that's what it gives amino acid carbohydrate gives you energy right and so on that's what the eucharist gives 
That's what the Eucharist is. It's not to be taken like it is. Yes, 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 but it is, um, like, like that is, is not tangible. I'm trying to get the word, it's inside me. When, I, when I'm so high, at times it happens. <clears throat> you know, something that you just not take serious, that you, you, you believe in, but, it, but it's like it's a ghost, something like that. It is not so. It is not so. Zoe is a, is a, is a cell. Zoe is a, ty that's a type of cell. Okay? It's a type of cell. It has its abuse according to the heavenly original. That crossing Jericho, the walls of Jericho falling, is in the similitude of the overthrow of the suke, the building blocks of the body you have now. The cell you have now is called suke, P S U C H E. Then stroke upward a little like this. Suke. That is the kind of building blocks that you have. That's, the, I mean, that your physical body have, has. Okay? So there, there's, there's a limited lifespan, lifespan with it. The physical, the body can tear. The body can be injured. The body can, the bone can dislocate. It can break. It can dislocate. It can be punctured. The blood spills that is inside that body is liquid and so on. It is different from that kind that is supernatural. Completely different. You see, the eyes of the mortal body can go blind. The eyes of the mortal body can be pierced. It is different from that that is zoe celled. The hairs of the mortal body can be cut. It can be shaved. It can be barbed. A lot can happen to it. Inside naked flame, it, 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 it will behave like it's, like it's a rag. You see? It is different from the zoe celled kind. You see? Prophet has been explaining these things. The body you have now is for a reason. It is a means to an end result. Okay? Prophet has been explaining these things. You should take your salvation seriously. There are people that don't like what I'm doing. There are people that, they, I mean, when I, when I bring it out this way, I'm, I, they are scared. Because they know what it will mean to them if this should saturate the earth. They know what that will mean to them if this will be, comes what a lot of people who are pure hominids have heard. Christians have heard. There will, be, there will be like a herald globally. As is also written, it's written. And as the, that very thing written also, that so, a, a, a stone hewn with her hands brought down a certain image. Where, that in the very image, you get Babylon, Medes and Persia, Greece, and Rome in the very image. What is Rome doing there? What is Rome doing there? What is Rome, when Rome is supposed to be the church that will be the one that will secu I mean, circulate the very gospel? Uh, what, is, what is Rome doing? With Babylon, Medes and Persia, Greece, and Rome. The beast of Revelation 13. And I stand upon the sand of the sea. And I saw a beast rise or rose from the sea. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard. And so on. Many didn't know it. Many didn't understand. Prophet said that that is the map of Italy. It's a symbola symbological explanation. But then the person was watching a footage on a celestial device. He was so privileged. And a visitor came. The prophet said that was actually Enoch, with what was referred to as white stone. Like we have devices here. There is nothing that can be manufactured here. Except that the original of it is in heaven's words. You talk computer technology. Talk about these devices, electronic devices. Many, f that's why some people, they feel, I mean, like what, I mean, when, when they feel that, in fact, heaven sh will be, should be where all you do there is pray and pray, worship and worship. They'll say, you know, uh, just, just that, like do, you know, like be holy. And that holiness has, simply means you have to always be, you know, like you, you, are, like you are devoted, you are pious. You are, you are, you, you, you just, you, you, do, you, that is, you just keep worshiping God and praising God and so on, you know, ha ha hallelujah. That's what they thought. That's why they, they, you, they, even when they hold the Bible, they hold the Bible in pretense. They're not, they're nobody, and nobody truly, truly desires going to the very heaven's world in question. Where they wrote what they wrote that I mean they wrote they, they wrote like 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 how what it looks like when 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 the very rapture they defined that as rapture had taken place 
and the, the, the people, you know, like being the being with the Lord in the air. Then when they raise their head up, they see what will make them shout, "Holy, holy, holy!" Was it holy, holy? Yes, now holy, holy. By the time they are raising their head again, they are seeing another glory. That's from a certain preacher, his interpretation of it, of a certain place in Revelation chapters. You didn't get it, my dear. You didn't get it at all. A lot was misinterpreted by you people, misconceived, but both the mark of the beast, the very 666 misconceived. You don't even know what was referred to there. I am telling you. I am telling you. I am so much in awe of this God. And I have genuine fear of this God. Truly, God is not to be toyed with. God is not to be messed with. God is not to, I mean, you don't try, you don't play, hi, that is, you don't try to, you don't, you don't be, you don't, you don't practice being cunning with God. You don't try to play smart, I think that's better, on God, I am telling you. He knows what will happen before it happens. Nothing takes more than worse. In a planet like this, there are languages like accidents, accidents, and he was, it's like he's fine. You see where God is. In God's own status, there's no such thing. Not, no such thing as accident. No such thing. I am telling you the truth. When he also said that I, I, will, go, I, I will go before you to make every crooked path straight, people didn't understand. That, I will go before you. Before you. He was talking about before you, were, you will be sent through the womb of your biological mother into this earth. God did a work that is called pre, the, the work of predestination. And it's all about your salvation portion. If you merit it. If you, that means you have a role to play. That's what I mean. The merciful shall obtain mercy. It is just that way. It is not what to pray for. It is not what to pray about. It is not what to decree. The merciful shall obtain mercy. It is so. There are laws that, that is established. I am telling you. People reap a lot, a lot from injustice because they did a lot of injustice to the God without them knowing, to the Son of God without them knowing, to the truth without them knowing. The truthful one was crucified. The truth was crucified. They don't like the truth. Owa achogudo nigwe kachorudo. Owa achogudo. Owa achogudo. Owa achogudo nigwe kachorudo. Owa amarochuku. Owa amagichuku. No. Owa amagichuku nigwe kamarachuku. Owa amagani. Owa amarani. Owa amagani nigwe kamarani. The singer said, "This word." Does not appreciate truth. Does not appreciate appreciate the truth. This world does not celebrate that it is better. This world does not celebrate the truth. This world does not celebrate the truth. This not does not celebrate. This world does not celebrate the truth. It is in heaven that truth is celebrated. It is in, in heaven that justice. Oh my God, that is like a beacon. The beacon upon which God builds. That is justice. That's righteousness, equity. God is never partial. God is never partial. That's like I told you. So the darkness of this world is xenophobic to the manifestation, physical manifestation of the sons and daughters of light. That this world will not roll out a red carpet for you if you are a pure hominid. Many people that walk on that red carpet on, the, on, the, on this world's platforms are their hominids. I am telling you. I think I have said the very verses to seven, right? Yeah, okay, verse seven. They wrote it this way. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. The God rendering. O my God, comma. Thou hast smitten all my enemies upon their cheekbone. Comma, interpreting it further. Thou hast rendered the ungodly toothless. What does that mean? It means Lucifer has been bragging about, saying all sorts, 
condemning the very Adam, his eminence, and calling him all sorts of names. That he's a liar. He claimed he's, a, he's the son of God. He, you know, that the, the controversy around that, uh, like on the, on, on the account of the fact that you are the son of God. Do this. Didn't start that place where you saw that it was written. In the, in, in, the, in, the, in the account of the snop, snop, synoptic gospel writers, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I think three, if I'm correct, are basic. Like, sounded so, like, better um, in uniform than one. On account of the fact, yes, that you are the Son of God. Th that was pointed. I told you that Jesus was... Is not the Son of God, but the God in an incarnate manifestation, but came in the shoes of the Son of God, you see, to bear mankind. When you understand why he has to step into the shoes of the Son of God, if you understand that perfectly well, that the Lord that held down the very Son of God, Adam, his eminence, is the Lord for procreation. Like a seed that fall, fell, falls down, must die before it starts growing to become a tree. That is the family tree of the mankind race. That is the one man and one woman. That paid a costly price for the procreation that benefited me today. I am in the air today with a physical body, which is an assurance that I will have a supernatural kind. You see, which is what will give me the access, the visa, to go to the heavens world where I have my house, God built for me, and have my everlasting livelihood. This is wonderful. You see, I hope you are getting this. So my point is this, that this God rendering a people toothless. So you understand that prophet has said before now, he said, a witch is not a toothless dog. Don't forget. He said, a witch is not a toothless dog. That's the reason he said that. When, that's like, like last days, breaking the backbone of evil men in families. That's a program we hold once every year also. At the, uh, on the 12th day of the 12th month of every year. You see, so here, prophet, I mean in the Bible here, they, they mention cheekbone. God hitting enemies of somebody on the cheekbone. Wow. That's why I have to explain it. I told you that God does not, cannot conceptualize evil. And God is not violent. And so on. God is a king. God is a noble. God is a royalty. God is the almighty. He actually has no rival. I was listening to somebody's music, and this was like hailing God this way. Say, oh God, like, who can actually challenge you, you know? And then, which is great anyway, but by the time the person continues, then the person says something like, you know, what, like God, like, like, like what God did to Satan. You know, what, like, like, what, uh, like, in, like Jesus' promise, how does, you know, like calling, like, like, like making the very Satan, you know, like a, ah, God, happy. Like, you know, when you say, when you talk about a match between two people in a ring, there's a reason that was called match, match, M-A-T-C-H. Jesus Christ promised, is, is the God in an incarnate manifestation. Do you know the Son of God was not actually judged to be a match with the very enemy, actually, or the enemies. I mean, the very beast with seven heads, then their body, all of that put together. That, that was what this word means. Even though they wrote it, they didn't still write it so well. God does not, like, put an enmity between two people so that they will start fighting while he start watching. But they wrote it this way. I've put an enmity between you and the woman, between her seed and your seed. What about the man? Why was the man not mentioned there? You see. But what God said was, the battle line has been drawn. Compare it to, I, ha I have put an enmity, put an enmity between you and the woman. Just look at that too. I have put an enmity. God was reacting to what was that? You were, I said you should not eat from this tree. Why did you? That was it. Then the people were behaving like, oh, like we didn't actually, we did like, a, you know, like when you have a child or children that did what you said they shouldn't do because you know more, you know better. They are being children. And then they did it. And that was what brought the suffering. 
to the extent that the, then you were you amongst what you are saying to them was is you will sweat before you eat ah that was not what god said it has to do with talking about the physical body the mortal body the 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 that's one of the one of the things that happens to the mortal body just so talking to father Adam, like like hope you know where you are now in the fall because of what there is where he must not fall into why still in the garden that's why he shouldn't let the fall reach where is, why is there why the garden of eden is the heaven's world you know and that prophet said that he was a, a supernatural vehicle that actually carried him and mother eve piloted by archangel michael into this earth and that that was the same vehicle supernatural vehicle that elisha saw when that came to pick elijah and use words like the chariot of israel and the horsemen thereof just look at this this is this in your bible the chariot of israel you know my father my father what about the explanation of it what they reduced it into i will tell you was what well wind w h i r l w i n d well wind which you know there's the where wind can happen here i mean in the earth simply meaning wind that most times when it's moving is rotational is rotational like this that that was what carried elijah imagine that meanwhile somebody also that's an eyewitness the, the chariot of Israel. then chariot in the earth at that time is a vehicle without the engine yes but is it, that's the that's what that's you know like just like when it's an aeroplane you say aeroplane today because there's aeroplane today those that were in the earth when there was no aeroplane they don't know what is aeroplane you see i'm giving an example if you talk about vehicles i mean they name their names today because they they were called those names by the people that manufactured them something like that the very vehicle that elijah during the time of elijah or elijah and elisha uh, okay in the earth here what the kings use what people as in you know when you have the money to afford it has to do with what they call chariot which is horse driven horse driven you see, and the horseman he is horse driven. He has not its steering. He has not its he has not its engine. It is not engine engine engine. That is not what you start like is that like an ignition. Even the, the advancement of these technologies like they that's that's that's, that's the way they go, like gradually. Gradually, you know. You see? So then he's he used what chariot. So what does that what was, what was that supposed to mean? It was such an experience, or it is such an experience for me in the earth here. Such an experience for me. That people can be so preoccupied in their mind and also in their, in their, in their pursuit of money. Both the ones that are highly rated, the elder, elderly, people that are in the seats of authority, people that are highly respected in the society, those that are up, covered, they are put, made, I mean, name them. What they made out of the supernatural realities, out of supernatural realities, is shocking to me. Shocking to me. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14, mentioned their name. And he said there that the person has said in his heart, I will be like the Most High. That I, will like, I will establish or exalt my throne above the stars, then the root of God. My God and my King. And he mentioned, he started with, started with how art thou fallen from heaven? Oh, Lucifer. L-U-C-I-F-E-R. Lucifer. Who is Lucifer? New Testament chapters spoke about somebody. Amongst what the person said to Jesus of Nazareth's promise was, the earth is mine. 
And I do allocate parts of it to people that do my bidding. And demanded of him something. Something. And two writers, synoptic writers, wrote the same thing. That that came at the third, as they wrote the temptation to betray. While one wrote that that one was second. A preacher. Was, it was that one that was second that the preacher picked and was reading. And then the one that the, the, very, the, very, the, the synoptic writer wrote to be the third happened to be the one that's supposed to be the second, which is quoting like that. And it is, in fact, they, he now wrote it. They now they wrote it as it is said. <laughs> Not it is written, but it is said. And that was what chased the very, the very tempter away. It is said. But the word of the very master, Jesus, promised, that the preacher claims is his Lord, which, the, which amongst what was written in the very third temptation was that the very master said to the very tempter, get thee behind me, which is a command, not a plea, P-L-E-A. It's a command. So that after that command, he was still there. But what now chased him away, the very tempter was it is said simply because the preacher all that he is talking about has to do with talking it talking it saying it keep saying it keep talking it that was why that one got his attention so when he, when he said to the tempter it is said he burst into speaking in tongues to fear God forbid bad thing. You see? When I preached a message, I called the goiter of keep saying it. There's a lot I said there. What the word of God has gone through in this earth. What the God of creation has gone through. His image has gone through in this planet. The reputation, the character, the status of his righteousness. I mean this God. Even his names. Imagine Charles Darwin. They say that Charles Darwin said in what they call the theory of evolution that man evolved from then he. I'm pointing your ancestors to you as a race. Who has said something concerning it? What Charles Darwin said, was he not completely opposite against what was written in the Bible? Calling what was written in Genesis a lie. That's what he means. Just like the serpent said. They wrote it this way. God. I mean, they wrote it this way. Thou shall not surely die. Thou shall not surely die. The person said, Mother Eve, as in the root, they said that God said, The day you eat from thou shall surely die. Prophet said that what he actually said was, My Lord, my Lord, Adam. Well, Father Adam te teaches her. My Lord said that God said, and that serpent was actually a seraph. Such a friend. If you should see the thing, it's unbelievable. You will not think that person can, can do that thing. Like, it's like that, that betrayer with a kiss. That was what, who did it. Then he said, that, 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 was, that, that was what? That, that, you, that when you eat from that, you shall, die, you shall surely die. No, you shall begin to die. You shall begin to die. Which is simply meaning the cell system of that physical body has no death system. It has no cell. Like cells die in your body and another is born. That physical body has no that system. That is to say, no aging, no death. Did you see? Just that correction will help you to. It's all, Prophet is doing just all to help give you what is called mindset reprogramming. That's what happens in Gilgal. You must. You must yield to that by making yourself available to, for these revelations. You must listen to these messages. You must give heed to these things which this prophet has been is teaching. Which prophet is teaching? He, there's no other way. I am telling you the truth. Amongst what you need, amongst what let's want to say deliverance procedure, is mindset reprogramming. It has nothing to do with being brainwashed. It has nothing to do with being hypnotized. It has nothing to do with that. 
even persuaded, being fully persuaded, is no, it has not to do with persuasion. Persuasiveness. It has not to do with that. You are not being persuaded. You are being explained to. You are being taught. You are being groomed. You are being, you know I mean, you are being brought up. Like, over time, you will know that, oh my God, what, I mean, this is such a, there's, there's such a deliverance. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And a lot is in this. Why the message is coming on? Oh, it's coming out. Both healing that is divine. The prophet is a type of doctor. You should understand what is called divine healing. Many people miss it because they don't understand it. They don't know how to go about it exactly. Chai, it's completely on it. It has a lot. It's different from what the medicine men do. They are not dragging anything. They are not dragging anything. The God of creation is still the God who is the harbor of herbs. Amongst what he said, he said when after the ark landed and the people has to come out again, and so it was also to Noah was also that the eating of herbs continues, you see. But there's still healing that is divine. There's the miracles. And miracles can happen. God can intervene. When it comes to church, seven angels of church ages are people that go to church, church ministry. There are keys they can operate. Key of the, the, it was called the key of David. The key of the in the Bible. Jesus promised when he touched it, you, you see, you see, you have words like either the the the, ah, or the keys of the kingdom or the key of David. The David of the mankind race was the reason of for that word. Oh, I'm so happy that this came out. Because, you know, I was talking about the there's the David of the mankind race. What will help you chiefly, child of the kingdom, those that are listening to me, what will help you chiefly to believe me that there is the David of the mankind race is that word. The key of David. He was not referring to the key of David Jesse. In fact, David Jesse, even though he's a patriarch, cannot operate those keys. You know why? It is only people that God gave church ministry. There are just seven that can operate the keys of the kingdom. You see, there's somebody called Gideon. An angel at the time was telling him, You are a mighty man of valor. Like you should lead the very Israelites. Then he was looking like he just like lead them to battle, lead them to go and fight. That that was what the angel came to recruit him for. Okay, you can't like you are strong, but it was it was not gotten right. It was not gotten right. You know what he was telling Gideon? The angel under the archangel Gabriel, who was the one that has that as a field of, as he, as his field of expertise to be able to decode who is who, if possible. He was able to decode that it was time for Samson Manoah to come and send someone to pre announce the birth of that person. He was, he was okay, and so on. Now, what, are, what, what the angel meant is, you are a mighty man of valor. I want to interpret it. What he, me he meant is, Gideon, you are a patriarch. Gideon, you are a patriarch. There are 12 patriarchs in the mankind race. Abraham is a patriarch and an angel of the church age. Enoch is a patriarch and the first angel of the church age. Noah is a patriarch, the second angel of the church age. Abraham is a patriarch and the third angel of the church age. Moses is a patriarch and the fourth angel of the church age. Joshua is a patriarch and the fifth angel of the church age. Apostles Peter and Co. You see are not patriarchs. Did you see? But that's the time also John the Baptist will come. That's the time Jesus Christ will be, uh, and so on. So they handled a certain thing. And so, many of them suffered martyrdom. Then the seventh angel of the church is an Elijah, a patriarch. Then Gideon is a patriarch, but not an angel of the church. It cannot operate the keys of the kingdom. Are you seeing that? David Jesse is a patriarch, but cannot operate the keys of the kingdom. Samson Manoah is a patriarch but cannot operate the key, keys of the kingdom. You see, Daniel is a patriarch. Samuel is a patriarch but cannot, you see, Zerubbabel is a patriarch but cannot operate the keys of the kingdom. Are you getting it? There are 12 patriarchs, if I've mentioned all of them. What do I mean by operating the keys? For instance, ye shall lay hands on the sick and he shall recover. They cannot do it. It is people who God gave church ministry. Why? It is a need. It is a need. How can I be preaching and saying all of these things? And I cannot 
function that way. Look at that. You see? It's a need. So the power, that, like there's the message of the kingdom. There's the kingdom, the power, and the glory. There is the kingdom's message. That's also how there is the power that is associated with it. That's what, what somebody was trying to say. That, uh, uh, it is not just uh, but also the, by the demonstration of power, that radical like demonstration of power, and the, many people start falsifying miracles because they feel that kind of thing is what is the proof that they have church ministry. He's talking about things like laying of hands. He's talking about things like blessing sacramentals. It is. He's talking about things like like dipping somebody inside water. I'm bringing the person out. He's talking about something like somebody laying hands on another to ordain him a pastor, to ordain him an evangelist, or her, a deacon, or deaconess, and so on. Why? It is church ministry. It means that person was given a mandate in the earth by the God. And the God himself is the chooser. I'm a chosen one. The God himself is the chooser. It is not by human election. It's not by any, it's not by things like that. It is the God who knows us all inside out. You see? Chai. Chai. I really feel for the people, you know. I really feel for the people. And I know that the prayer is still on. That the pure hominids, you know, recently God told me, the most people told me, said to me, that if it is not as important Possible that if he's not looking as impossible as it looked during the days of Noah, when Noah we was talking about animals, animals coming inside the ark that he will couple, that then he, he did, then the simile that's the, then that cannot that that cannot play the similitude well for me. So that as impossible as it was looking when Noah was explaining this, and then he would talk about animals. It was, people will be like, I mean, the animals, where will they come from? Like, will you go, even if you should go, will you tell animals, come, come, okay, this is what God said. You are supposed to enter into this ark. The animal will not hear what you say. Did you see? They was talking about animals in a, but in a certain order. Wild, domestic, birds will come as a must to enter inside the very ark. That he was prepared, like he, he coupled. In sevens and in twos. Seven he, seven she, then the, 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 the unclean. Two he, two, two he, two she. Or he is two she. Something like that. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, look at it like with your brain. Like, like with your brain. If I'm exaggerating, it looked impossible. I don't mean it looks difficult. No. It looked, it looked impossible. Why? He said, okay, but he can force, he can even, like, tell, what about the wild animals? What about the wild animals? And he has to do with the animals in the earth here. Look at it yourself. You see? Like I said, okay, verse 7, it was, that's where I am still on. Arise, oh Lord, save me, oh my God. I'm reading from Psalms chapter 3, verse 7. Arise, oh Lord, save me, oh my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Prophet said that the, what this David of the Mark Andrew said is, Oh my God, I, I love this. I love this. I love this. Just look at this. Arise, oh Lord, save me. Comma. Oh my God. Prophet started from oh my God. Oh my God. And the arise, comma, oh Lord, comma, save me, was removed by him. I said, I'm, not, I'm giving an example. That the son, I mean, the David of the market will not, will not say such things to the God. Arise, oh Lord, save me. That is like commanding God. The word in Isaiah 60, arise and shine, is not what you tell God Almighty. So all those, all those words like commanding God, take up shield and buckler. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. God is not your salvation. God is not your shield. God is not your glory.
What does it mean to use something? Are you using God? Why, why would God be your shield? If you had even said he is your shielder, it will be it will be it will be it will be, it will be different. It is he, he, he I mean he is your shielder, he's your glory bringer or your glorifier. I mean, why would you call God your glory? Why would you call God your shield? Why would you God, call God your exceeding great reward? God is not your reward. God is not your heritage. God is your rewarder. He is your rewarder. What a word. Verse 7. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast, hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Professor David of the Mankind Race said this. O my God, thou hast smitten all my enemies upon their cheekbone. Thou hast rendered the ungodly, the ungodly, toothless. I love this so much. You know why? Because I understood this. I understood the, like the saga, the saga between the very Jezebel, between the harlot, that means the, 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 the mother harlot on the beast. That is to say, like, the, 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 the serpent. The seraph that was sent to represent the other six heads of the beast. And it was looking like it was such a w job well done. Like mission accomplished. When I preached the message I called, the subtle, the serpent's sub subtle insurgence into the Garden of Eden. A lot came out. After that message, I know what the most of you told me. That message is, 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 is award winning. That message, I mean in heaven's world, uh, not as in, believe me, that very message, this many years ago, the most people told me that is kingdom class and it, it, it is award winning. That message, the serpent sought to insurgence into the Garden of Eden. What prophet explained there? Oh my God, oh my God. Verse 8 of, Genesis, of Psalms chapter 3. They wrote it this way. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy, thy people. Selah. What is the psalmist, the David of the man country said was, God's salvation is only for pure hominids. God's salvation is only for pure hominids. Comma. His blessings also. And the impure hominids are accursed. And the impure hominids are accursed. Lucifer is accursed. It didn't mean God is causing them. It means that you are either blessed or you are cursed. Impure hominids are blessed. Even when they are poor financially, even when they are in this earth suffering, even when they look like they are, they are, not, they are not relevant in the society, it didn't change anything. This, they, they are who they are by birth. And a, a pure hominid is someone that was giving birth to spirit being with a physical body in the father's bosom. An impure hominid is someone that his spirit being or her spirit being was shot out from the abyss. The person is accursed by what? By the birth of the person. The person's judge, the person's jury, and the, and, and the person's executioner is the matrix, the very mother, the very root, the very source of the person. That's what condemned the person, not God. So it's, that's clear here. So that the, the, that's the blessings of God is on pure hominids. That is, whether angels, cherubim, seraphim, pure hominid angels are blessed. Pure hominid cherubim are blessed. Pure hominid seraphim are blessed. Okay? Then impure hominid kinds, like Lucifer, are accursed. It is so. Even while wearing the very celestial body, while looking so beautiful, they are so odd. It didn't change it. The person is accursed. The deceiver was the deceived. The end will justify these explanations. You see? So, I will read one more time the way I read, I read it. 
Then I will now read only the one I, that's the one I told you is the Lord's version of Psalms 3. Then we'll round up. You know, where I wrote mine, I, I also, I wrote under the caption, how are they increased that trouble me? Psalms 3 verse 1. And under it, I wrote, question, question, then dot, dot, dot. Then I wrote, how are they increased? Then I put question mark. You know why? It will help you to see a subject that prophets brought and explained and explained and what, how are they increased? How are they increased? Look at the mankind race. You have to understand that Father Adam and Mother Eve in Eden, they are in a state where the woman cannot become pregnant. The man is in a state at that time where he cannot, he cannot get a woman pregnant. It has nothing to do with impotency. It is the physical body that they, that they, they have. And also, this, the, the heaven's world, how life, the, how, how life is in the heaven's world. So that's why he was like Abraham, there. While Mother Eve is like Sarai, there. That means even though there are children that are in the, fa in the father's bosom, you see, who have reasons to refer to them that way. That is father, mother, kind of. But then, to Mother Eve, it does not physically man. In fact, she has not even come into that, into that principal ancestry that she has, she has not hi how do we do it? that she has not ended because the price she paid brought her into why it is the man that gives birth in the super bio not the woman you see so she she partnered in the pro in the very procreation that's where, where mother eve now came in, came into it so to be of a quality that's the quality of a child that is from the womb I mean, from the bowel of the spirit being that God gave birth to. That's one. Okay? That's we, uh, like a superiority class. Then another is to be for real. Someone who can also answer, like when you talk about the, the mothers of the church. She being the supreme in that angle. The queen mother. Child. Prophet lately referred to her as the virtuous woman. And said... That the sin that easily beset people that are in this kind of a planet. That like a woman, like Jesus Christ said, if the man should even look at the person lustfully, has done it already, you know, still bringing that to contest, he said, that Mother Eve, looking at any other person, it will not, it will not affect her that way. Why? The physical body that God coupled. And the spirit being God gave birth to God Almighty, the most beautiful. The physical body that God coupled, God himself is the best when it comes to building things. Look at that now. The best sculptor. The best artist. Oh, you know, okay? What would have been better, more beautiful than that? So how will Mother Eve trip for the physical body and the spirit being in that physical body, even in the falling state? Of Father Adam and also turn to trip for another. Father Adam happened to be the most beautiful, most beautiful. I don't use the word handsome. You, you, when you set your eyes on this or come into this day of or come into the kingdom, like Jesus said, it's what he said, except you're born of water and of the spirit, you cannot come into the kingdom. They didn't get it. I am so much in awe of this God. The height. The way he went about coining these words. So that certain people reading will not understand. Not just so that them hearing. He he hearing. Certain people reading will not understand. Who are these people? Pirates. Copycats. Fake. Look at people acting movies. Acting. Do you know that it, you don't, in the heaven's world, you don't do acting. You don't act because you know what? It is like learning how to lie. That's what the acting is like. It's like, it's like trying to psych yourself. It's like, I'm telling you, many have not seen it that way. That's what acting is like. If you marry an actor and live with the actor, you will see that you may have reasons to tell, please, 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 are you not, are, are you, I don't do this acting thing from you. I, I want to know, no, I, as, I, I mean, you see, that's words that is always in their mouth. Why? Because the person has been doing that and, and begin to, I mean, learn, like the person can cry when he's not, when he's happy. 
can fake crying. The person can also laugh when he's not happy. You see? I mean, when you hear that person, act. Like, you know, you, I think they have scripts that they interpret. So the person has to be like a character interpreter. That's what it's like when you talk about acting. So which people do you think we do, do, do so well in that field? There's. Fair hominids are so, they, they do so well in that, I am telling you. It is difficult for an impure hominid to put up acts and do it so well. Why? They are like Jews without guile. The mortal body is such a blackmailer of the pure hominids put inside them. Because, because, because that body is terrestrial. It agrees with the darkness of this world. It, that, that is terrestrial. It's like, you know, like when you say in the fallen state, you know what that means. Please let me leave that aside. My point is this. I want to just read this, okay? Again. And then I will read only just mine. So then we'll round up. So like I said, I wrote question. Then I put dot, dot, dot. Then I wrote, how are they increased? Question mark. Then under it, I wrote answer. Dot, dot, dot. Then I wrote by the price paid by their principal ancestor. The procreation price paid by their principal ancestors. This is an answer to Lucifer. From what the most of you revealed to me, he, re he showed that it was actually words of Lucifer that Father Adam referred to in Psalms 3. I read. They wrote theirs, I mean chapter 3, verse 1. This way. Lord, how are they increased there? Look at that. How are they increased there? That trouble me. Many are they that rise up against me. Prophet said that the, what this David of the Mankind race said was, Lord, comma, my enemies are, are asking. Hi, this is the greater than the prophet. This is the, I mean, but Adam could say things that, that, was what was happening in the camp of the very Luciferians. You see, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Prophet said, David of the Mackin race, what he said was, Lord, comma, my enemies are asking, how are they increased they? Comma, how are they increasing that trouble me? Comma, many are they becoming that rise up against me. Lucifer saw that the mankind race was becoming many. I missed a whole lot. I missed a whole lot, even calamities. I missed death, the system of death that is in the earth. I missed risks of different sicknesses because of microscopic organisms. I missed a whole lot. I missed, a, I mean, in a world where there are lots and lots of issues, which was what the book of Job, allegorized Lord my enemies are asking how are they increased oh my goodness how are they increasing that's another that is they're increased then he has seen a, a quite a number of people in the earth and then they are also increasing why there is the system of death prophet said that one of the questions at a time that the very serpent which was a seraph that the prophet said that he entered into the very garden of Eden, not once. It was, in fact, total, the total of 39 times. 39 times. That is, that, that's, that's, that's 40 minus 1. For which reason? The lashes that came on the back of Jesus of Nazareth was also 40, 40 minus 1. 39. So that, that one of the things that, that the serpent or the very seraph asked Mother Eve is, so why are you just two? Like the, the city we have not seen, the city of the heaven's world. You are just two. In my heaven's world, where I came out from, we are so many. We are so many. <laughs> Aside, like, so what is it that can be done to you? And then you, you, you'll be like, you cannot fly. Which was, you see, typified in what was what Delilah asked Samson. 
What can be done to you? And then you become like every other man. And then when that was done to the very Delilah and the very Samson, he tried to do what he does before. Then it looks like he tried to punch anybody. Or to, no, but he tried to do what Father Adam did after the fall. That's after that, that happened. That, which is like to fly the way they do. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean, I said, what, one of the things that, that this very cherubim, seraphim, angels were so much in awe of concerning the very new to them, they are creatures that were that they discovered newly, and also a new heaven's world. Was well, that they can fly without flapping wings, and not only about flapping of wings, but also that they didn't sight any wing on their body. In a heaven's world, where it like the people are, that are, there are like birds, they fly normally. So the cherubim, they have six wings each. The seraphim, they have six wings. The angels, they have two wings. They saw a, I mean, they saw people that has no wing at all, and yet they can fly. They can fly. I mean, when an angel is wing coughed, a, or a cherub, or a seraph, wing coughed, cannot fly an inch. Can hang on air. Yes. When he's on the floor, on the ground, can limp, that's limp, and go up and up and, and stop, at, according to the, how much he, the person pushed himself or herself up. Okay? But when he now hangs, to fly means to, that's locomotive kind of movement. To, that's you flap, it's like a, it's a, a law, like a aviation law. The person has to flap, that's flapping means he's moving air, he's flapping air. You see? So to move, as in fly moving, the person will, can be there as long as that when coughing is that way. Until they, they have to uncuff the wing cough or the wing. So it was what, and also it is something that, you know, like, a superior species can threaten the one that, is sup that he or she is superior to. You know, like, you know, these are, you don't do this, you don't be, or else, this is what, or is this what we, do, this is what we do, or this is what we can do to you. So, like, that's just the, that's what can be, that's what, you know, you don't, there's not like punching, slapping, you know, cutting, all those things, because of the kind of physical, physical what they have. So it's only the Superman, who can give us called Superman punch. Don't ask me. They do this in WrestleMania. It's just like asking me when I spoke about the Superman. Then you talk telling me about a certain movie. Maybe a movie that they call Superman. It's not what gives me the message that I'm, I'm preaching to you. Okay? There are things that was there were reasons you can hear some things like that in trickles out there. Superman. Look for it in the Bible. You will not see. But there's a man there. There's a man there. There's a man in the fall. There's a man in this restored state but there's no super no supers attached to it look at it yourself you see so my point is this <sighs> i was explaining something i have to be meticulous now with time please I, I, this you know i've always I've always um, tried touching many things, touching many things, mo most times. And honestly, I really want to handle this in such a way that two hours, maximum three, four, especially on Sundays. But Wednesdays, two hours maximum, I'm done. So that it will help you to, to both for your download and so on. It, I think it will be better that way. So please, let me go straight to the point. Okay, they wrote, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Prophet said that they write what the David of Mankind race, race said was, Lord, my enemies are asking, how are they increased? How are they increasing that trouble me? Many are they becoming that rise up against me. Verse 2, they wrote, Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Prophet said that was, what the David of the Mankind race said was, Many more are they becoming that do refer to me as Satan the devil. <laughs> Verse 3, but thou, O Lord, art a shield, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. The prophet said that what the David of the Mankind race said was, but thou, O Lord God, is where I God. Please, the better, the better um, word there is, but from, but from, but from thou, O Lord, okay, but from thou, O Lord God. But from thou, O Lord God, is where 
I got my genetics from. Comma. The superior celestial glory or Shekinah that is evidently superior to that of the heavenly creatures. This one thing that they saw, that was also why this cherubim, these Luciferians, especially Lucifer, and other impure homini cherub, or cherubim, please, other impure homini cherubim that followed him at will. That was one of the things, that's one of the things that made them, you know, like it pulled jealousy. My God, heaven's world, cherubim are superior, our cherubim and seraphim are superior to angels. No angel became, became that way towards the cherub, or be, towards the cherubim. You see, angels are angels. Cherubim are cherubim. Seraphim are seraphim. A seraph cannot become a cherub. A cherub cannot become a seraph. An angel cannot become a cherub. And so on. Angel turned human here. It was made possible because of all of this. Look at how this world, how this earth is. God prepared for it. This, okay, and so on. Not that a celestial citizen can actually change to look like another celestial citizen. You see? So what I'm trying to say is that when you hear something like that, you feel, ah, well, like, was, were they really threatened? Like, they are cherubim. Cherubim. Man can raise. He's another race of his own. A tear is a tear. A tear is a tear. You see? So, but from that, oh, Lord God, is where I got my genetics from. I love this. Come on. The superior celestial glory or Shekinah that is evidently superior to that of the heavenly creatures. Dot, dot, dot. Thou, O Lord God, is my Bela and my Resurrector. Verse 4. They wrote it this way. I cried unto the Lord. But Adam does not do that. But Adam will not cry unto the Lord God. <laughs> For what? He saw the Logos. Okay? You know, they wrote that Jesus Premise cried on the cross. It was just pointing to the fact that the crossing from the celestial glory into this kind of a life. Who will be doing that rejoicing? Who will be doing that rejoicing? I cried unto the Lord with my voice. Would he have cried, would the person have cried with his nose? Look at this. I cried unto the Lord with my voice. Does it really make sense? <laughs> and he heard me out of his holy hill. Compare it to this. I pray, not prayed, I pray to the Lord God. I pray to the God Almighty. Addressing him as my father. And he answers, and he answers me from where he is. Without any mediator. Addressing what? The issue, the controversy surrounding what? That he is the son of God. When somebody says he is the son of God, it means then he said he said that God is his father. Then so he is saying here, I in praying address the addresses the God as my father. Then if God is not my father, why will he hear me? Why will he answer me like you say, Dad? And then the dad answers, Son. So why are you doubting me? I addresses my God. I addresses the God as my father when I pray, and he hears me. He answers me, you see, without any mediator. Nobody will come in between the very Son of God and the God. He, I mean, not just before the fall, both in the fall, both in the fall. There's nothing like a mediator, that's a mediator kind of priesthood between the Son of God, Adam, his eminence, and the God. No cherub can do that. No seraph can do that. No angel can do that. Nobody can do that. To show that he, was, he has nothing to do with excommunication. He was alienated by the system of the heaven's world. Well understood. But he still communicates with his God, with his dad, with his father. That's what he was, that, that meant, okay? I pray to the God Almighty, addressing him as my father. I love this. I pray, not I prayed. I pray, I pray. That's so this will help you to know those sides that sounds like I call upon I call upon, it, just, it has to do with praying to the God, addressing him in the name of Father, in the name of his Father, compared to, to the prayer that was called the Lord's Prayer, our Father, which I told you. That, that, like you don't, that Father Adam at the time said, you don't 
Like nobody go through, the, nobody can come to the Father except through me. Nobody can come to the Father except through me. That I explained it. It is not like, oh, okay, you are going to the Father. Oh, no problem. You know, you go through me. So, except I allow you. So, what's the thing? So, oh, okay, okay, you can go. You can go. Then the person will go to the Father. Father, I came to do. It is not so. It is not so. What it means is, you cannot pray to the God calling him Father. Except you understand how the fatherhood is. That God gave birth to somebody who is the principal ancestor of the very race. That was what made established the relationship, father-son relationship between the God and the mankind race. So it's basically not even for angels. It's basically for the children of the kingdom. Nobody can come to the father. That is, nobody can pray to God directly, calling him by the name father. Without that knowledge, without acknowledging the fatherhood of the principal ancestor of the mankind race, and that he is the son of God, the son that God gave back to. Tell me that this is confusing. Look at that. What is justice? Then what is this supposed to teach you? It's supposed to then teach you many people that are that cause God father and they didn't know this. They didn't even know it. How that their prayer was not heard. So this is comes out, you can be able to say, Oh, oh, no wonder. So what he means is nobody can come to the Father except through me. Else you pray to God. God, capital G O D, simply meaning you pray calling the God God. So it was not barricading. He was not trying to stop anybody going to the God. He was only saying, nobody can come to the Father, the Father. He didn't say nobody can come to the God. No can come to the Father except through me. Well understood by me. I don't dare call the God Father without acknowledging the person that God gave birth to. Who was that was the reason I can call the God Father. Because the person that God gave, the person God gave birth to, is the principal ancestor of my race, of the race I belong. So that person is the son of God. So I can gladly call God, apart from calling God, God I can also say, oh, fa our father, oh, my father. You see, imagine the son of your son calling you father in, in the place of the very son that was his biological father. If you then begin to receive it, you are doing something that is not right, you see. I pray, not I prayed, not I prayed, I prayed, I pray to the God Almighty, addressing him as my father. And he answers, or, and he answers me from where he is without any mediator. If you like, you can still say, and he hears and answers me. I removed the word here because the bullet point there is answer, answering, not hearing. I address him as my father. And he answers me. Like you said, dad. Then the person says, son. You see? I address the, 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 what this has to do with real life story of somebody. Lucifer said a lot of things. He broadcasted a, broadcasted a whole lot concerning this father. Adam. When you come into the very heavenly community, you will scream again at my messages. These things I tell you. These things that you hear from me. I pray to the God Almighty, addressing him as my father. And he answers me from where he is without any mediator. Verse 5. They wrote it this way. I laid me down. Did you see? I laid me down and slept. I awaked. For the Lord sustained me. Compared to this. If I go to where ghosts go to, comma, I will be resurrected. At the appointed time. Or you put it this way. At the divinely appointed time. At the divinely appointed time. It's just helping you to you know to know exactly what I mean. At the that is to show that it was divinely appointed. Now, there is such thing as the logos of the God of creation. He never took God on our words. If I go to where God go to, I will be res resurrected at the divinely appointed time and restored. Because the Lord will propitiate as my substitute and ransom me. What does this mean? He will see his meaning here. That the reason God will do the, the that will bear me is because I and the very God will look exactly the same. So that's the reason for that propitiate. That's the reason for that, for that what? For that substituting. So what sees the, the very person? Saw 
the very one that came and left me to hold that one because we looked exactly the same. And that, that one now happened to be the much more original, much more, the superior, the very superior version of me, something like that. Did you see? So all of this is trying to show that truly he is who he said he is, the son of God Almighty. And that he, 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 the way he is, is the image of God. The people looking at me, he was never asking them to worship him. He was never admi I mean, that is, he was never, he never aspired for worship. He never. Somebody tried doing that on a visitor that came in the island of Patmos. The person said, hey, don't do this. Immediately. He said something striking. Say, I am one of you. The holy prophets. Oh, I love that person. The holy prophets. He didn't just say, I am one of you, the prophets. Say, I am one of the holy prophets. This world knows not God. This world know not God. This world know not prophets. This world know not prophets. This world does not rate prophets. In heaven are prophets rated well. Do you know what it looks like to have the ability to hear God? The ability to the ability to hear God. Inaudibly. The ability to hear God inaudibly. To hear God when the voice is not audible. To hear the most Holy Spirit. For which reason he was referred to as the God of the spirit of the prophets, the third person of the Godhead, the God who can be so many but invisible, doing so many things but invisible, the God who can talk to A without B that was standing beside the A hearing, the God that can radio a message, radio a communication to the spirit of the prophets, Oh, do you know that prophets are rated as amongst the treasures of the nation that they were born into? Do you know prophets are rated as, as amongst the treasures, amongst the weapons, but not in the negative, that a nation has gotten from God? Said I laid I laid me down and slept. I awaked for the Lord sustained me. I'm reading verse five. Of Psalms 3. What the David of the Mankind race, race said was, If I go to where ghosts go to comma, I will be resurrected at the divinely appointed time and restored and restored, because the Lord will propitiate as my substitute and ransom me. Verse 6, they wrote it this way. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. What the David of the Mankind race said was. I will not be afraid of the plots, P-L-O-T-S, plots. I will not be afraid of the plots of 10,000 of the aliens that have set themselves against me round about. Here, Farada was pointing to fallen angels coming here. That the very Luciferians, they've not stopped what they felt they've done, they've achieved. They still are targeting, remember the dragon, the red-eyed dragon, and the child a woman was about to put, that a woman was about to put to bed, was about to put to bed. And then when the dragon could not do what he has purported to the child, then he tried that on the woman. When that could not also be achieved, they wrote that the dragon then turned to 
wage war or attack on the remnants of the man. You can see that the man was not there. But what? Of the woman. The remnants of the woman. What does that mean? To wage war against... That he, in fact, he, he, out of his mouth, he brought out a lot of water. Was, was, I know. And then the woman was helped. And the woman was taken. And, be, and taken to a place where she will be nourished for a time. Comma, times. Comma, and half a time. What does that mean? Uwa amaro chuku Nigwe kamara chuku Uwa amagi ozioma Amagi akukwonso Nigwe kamara akukwonso So the verse 6 which they wrote as, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me around about. The prophet said that the David of the Mark and Rich, what, what he said was, I will not be afraid of the plots of ten thousands of the aliens that have set themselves against me round about. Chai. Verse 7. They wrote it this way. Arise, comma, O Lord, comma, save me, comma, O my God. For thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Ah, ah. Arise, O Lord, save me. Then again, oh my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies. If you look at these things and look at what prophet is bringing out, I, you know, I can take, I can spend more time talking and talking. But I say these things for you to be able to look at them yourselves and, and know that this takes a whole lot. This takes a whole lot that, you, that, that I release this way. Believe me. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly. Prophet said that the David of the mankind race will not, will never say, tell God, arise, oh Lord, save me. He will never say that. He will never, it's because actually you don't say that to God. You don't tell God, arise, oh God. Just like in a certain place in the Bible, they wrote, God, why are you hiding in the time of trouble? That is an insult. Imagine somebody telling you, if you are, who would you call it? If you are an army, or you are a protest like somebody that that is that is a that support that has what it takes to defend the people or so and then the person or the people or even if your child tells you that like that why are you hiding in the time of trouble how will you take it look at it yourself the current um what the david of the Ma of the man said was i'm reading verse seven the Lord's version. Oh my God, comma, thou hast smitten all my enemies upon their cheekbone. Comma, thou hast rendered the ungodly toothless. It's like, it's like saying, thou hast short mouthed, thou hast disgraced, thou hast like finished, like thou hast finished this accuser of mine, this slanderer, this malicious slanderer. These people that, that keep plotting on how to bring down His Excellency. These people that keep plotting, deliberating on how to do this and that, which was what was typed, what, what was represented in that word that, what, that came to the serpent. That dust shall you eat. That was how they reduced it. Like dust, prophet said it, it means that, to de that you will continue to devise his harm, her harm. That, that's come up with what to, how to destroy, how to, how to. Like, I'll give you an example of that after this. Okay? So, the verse 7, like I said, he, the, the, the last version is, Oh my God, comma, thou hast smitten all my enemies upon their cheekbone, comma, thou hast rendered the, un, the ungodly toothless. Don't forget, I've explained to you what it means to be an ungodly. It means to be a tear. Not just somebody that is not doing what is good. Many pure hominids are not doing what is good now. So he was addressing tire hominids, like verse 8, which is the last verse of Psalms chapter 3. They wrote it this way. Salvation belong get unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Selah. The last version is, or what the David of the Mark Andrew said is, God's salvation is only for pure hominids. Child. This will help you to understand what that Lucifer meant when he said, 
those what they, they wrote they wrote it this way that, that, that they, those that say there is no help for me in God which prophet said that what he said was that, that many are many more are they becoming that will be saying or that will be or that are saying or even who have been have been brought into that sect that that keep referring to me as Satan the devil so in that context is still there is no remedy from God for you you see that that's what that's that like there's no help in God that means like okay if I am this if I can't God then help me can't God then you know something like that so in trying to like make others see that father Adam is a liar when he started like brought the message of impure hominids and the pure and then the impure in the heaven's world are still looking beautiful. And then he will say that they are looking beautiful outwardly. But that inside is where there is that ravening wolf. That's, that's where that, that's that their homely spirit is. Are you, are you seeing that? Compared to what Jesus was when he came to. I said, so, people, we call them white wall. I hope you are getting this. God's salvation is only for pure hominids. Imagine people that were trying to lead witches or that, that try to lead a witch a witch to christ when they are doing their crusades you know outdoor kind of um evangelism uh, or uh, that's if I'm, I'm so winning kind of if i so winning strategy as in to crusade to do and uh, to carry out a program outdoors for as in it looks like it's you know like they are trying to win souls for the for jesus christ so somebody can also come and say i used to be a witch in fact i i had i had this ring on my hand and that place and i was i killed i killed in fact i had i held a meeting with lucifer somebody will can even say that in fact i i i, I was there in in jupiter and and lucifer was there too and lucifer said that i hey oh my God and my God. You know, I, I, I was sent. I, I was sent by the kingdom of darkness to come and kill you. Because you are disturbing us. You are disturbing us. That's why I was sent. But when I came and saw your eye, I saw fire. I saw. In, the, in the Bible, there's suffer not a witch to live. That was the, the way they wrote it. Prophet said that what was that what that meant was. Do not try. Do not waste your time bringing a witch to repentance. Bringing, winning a witch to the kingdom. Why? A witch is not just a witch. A witch was first of all a tear. A tear hominid. Before he became a viral tear. So a witch is a tear whose demons have become Enabled. It's called demoniacal enablement. A witch was, is first of all a tear who has gotten the karagma, the DNA of their matrix. Like, activated. God's salvation is only for pure hominids. I love this. Oh, I read on Sunday to you where they wrote that the, that the ungodly shall not stand in judgment. Do not stand facing God in judgment or stand with God in judgment, something like that. Nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. That was the way they wrote it. And I told you what that what they meant. The ungodly or theirs shall not stand facing God for any judgment. They are condemned already. No, this no should they stand in the congregation of the righteous. That's the church. That is the congregation of the of pure hominids. The church was never meant to be a, a place where you gather both the pure and the impure. Why? The effort of the preacher on any impure hominid is called effort in futility. It's effort in futility. That was what Jesus his promise meant when he said, do not cast holy things to dogs. Else this is what they will do afterwards. So clear. So clear. Now, before I round up, I said I will give you an example 
of like when I when I said that the very Lucifer and cohorts keep devising the seeking of searching out harm, searching out plotting evil, trying to do one thing or the other against the very children of the kingdom, especially here, which was what was also typified in that the that the very dragon who tried something on a child and couldn't succeed. A child that was coming out from like a child that was being born and couldn't succeed, then go, went against the woman, couldn't succeed, then turned to the remnants of the woman. Now, you see, this very um, tight title, how are they increased that trouble me? Psalm 3, verse 1. That I expl explained from. I explained a whole lot concerning that. And also the Lost version of the very psalm stray as a whole. Okay? It's something that that was what gave back to what I called Lucifer's depopulation strategy. Lucifer's depopulation strategy. Because Lucifer saw that the mankind race are becoming many. At a time, Lucifer saw that the mankind, that's what Father Adam and Mother Eve, they approached that the, the children that were coming out, not just Cain, that it, that that was excommunicated, and fallen angels could easily go to and so on. That's the, like they at a time they became also enemies of the church. That's what, okay, like the yes, yes, sir. So. Aside just that, that the camp of Father, that's the camp where the children of the pure homies were, where like the church at the time was born. That was the first angel of the church. You see? So people were, that's like some things that Father Adam said, spoke up. Father Adam was still in the earth when Enoch was born, and so on. So my point is this, that there was, so that, that his bid to do something, like that, that's, um, you know, like that's how are they increased? Was what he said at a time. What I mean is, is that he, has, he said it to some few, some few. That's some. I mean, he said he said it to certain people around him. Like, how are they increased? So it became something that also those people, because they are still they are hierarchical certain. We also those that got to like that that will talk with angels that they will send into the earth. We'll be telling that how are they increased? That trouble me. Like the earth is his. And things supposed to go according to his will, kind of. They are becoming many that are rising up against me, that are rising up against my will, something like that. And that sect that do, will, that, that do refer to me, the way the very father Adam referred to him, you know, the way that the archangel, like the likes of Michael, referred to him as the slanderer. That means not all that he was saying concerning the very Adam, they are lies. So he's a slanderer. He's the, that's the origin of the word devil. The origin of the word Satan, accuser of brethren. That's the way they, they try to interpret it. He was not just an accuser of, of the brethren. He was the accuser of mankind. The accuser also is a malicious one. He has lots of malice. Like, what is your problem? You know, like a slanderous kind of accuser. That kind of a thing. You see, Chai. So, when that was the case, the blueprint two of Lucifer was designed which was what to if possible wipe out to wipe out the mankind race in the earth here and for that reason he then the angels that were coming supposed to have sexual intercourse with women here and then they will be, give birth to outcast breeds that are called called that are referred to as anakim now these anakim are now different from the, that is the 100% human beings that are here. Aside angel turned human. I hope you are getting this. So, from where he looks at and design things that he releases, it, it, was, it was suggesting to him that that will trigger over time. It, that it will bring the, the very cosmos. If I should speak this language. It will bring the cosmos. That's, 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 that's such as cosmic laws. So, there. He will see, he see that that is what will bring those, that the very cosmos to a state called chaotic state. This is where the laws are, the, is being so violated to the point where 
there will be anarchy. So the children of Anak are also children of anarchy. The Anakim are also children of anarchy. Do you see that? Compare it to also Anaconda. Anaconda. Look at that. Serpent. Did you see? And there are many children of anarchy that have gone under. You see? And when human beings, the body has, when the body dies, they put, that, they put the body inside an ark. They call casket and send it under. Like an ark under. And so on. Death. My point is that death is also inclusive. When it comes to the, that which I refer to as the enemy of mankind. God, even though in the plan, the, fa the fact that the very principal assist of man, I mean, the, like Father Adam and Mother, he's supposed to do what they should do, and supposed to go to where God is going to, does, that did not justify death in this planet. Don't embrace death, my dear. In the occult, they tell you, you can embrace cas the casket. They, call, they point to it. The very high priest of the occult will point to it and, te and tell the person, fear from, that's fear from dying, fear of death. Is many people's problem. And you should rather embrace it. It's your destiny. Chai! That's what fallen angels do. They were the first high priests of different occult groups in the earth. It was the angel, angel turned human that brought it, that brought occultism into the earth. I am telling you. So when you hear words like fraternity, words like confraternity, all of that is pointing to aliens fraternizing with human beings here. Confra because aliens, angel, also fraternize with cherubim and seraphim that are impure hominids. So it's a confraternity. You see, I hope you are getting this. So my point is this that the church is in the earth again. You should be in the church. There is the protection available. For you. I am telling you. The angels were given charge. That is, they have exactly their mandate. That's the, what they should do, their agenda, and what they shouldn't. The pure hominid angels. So, like I was saying, Lucifer designed the second blueprint, or that's his own blueprint too, which has to do with influencing the cosmos in such that there will be one anarchy to another until it gets to the point of chaos. Like Genesis 1 pointed to. Sometimes it was like cataclysm, chaos. And the earth was without form and void. Meanwhile, that without form and void hid a lot of things. It was talking about a situation of anarchy. Cataclysm. You see? Chaos. So that was why I, when they, I, I said there, is, there are still things that happen that, you know, that, and so, but I don't have to go into that so much at this time. Lucifer is a terrible person. Lucifer. Well, like I said, foreign angels came here and start giving, like, they start, inter they start. You see that word in a certain chapter of Genesis that sounded this way, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men and that they were fair and beautiful and they chose them wives or took wives of which they chose. It hurts me anytime I read that side because of the word sons of God that they put there without remorse, without remorse, without feeling of Ah, we have done something that's not good. The sons of God, capital G, saw the daughters of men that they were fair and beautiful and began to choose them. And they gave and, and got them pregnant. And the, the children became bullies and became the, the men of renown. And yet they spoke about after the thing, and then violence was so much in the earth. You see. So that was like the kingdom of heaven. They wrote that the, the, from the time of John the Baptist. What about that time? What about that time? That time, that's, that's prior to when 
God told Noah to couple the ark. That was prior to that time. There was a lot of bully in the earth and violence. Let me tell you the main thing that will help you. It is not just about the bully. It is about the fact that fallen angels started having children. That is the anakim. It is a corrupting to the race. It is not just a, it's a corrupt. See, that's why the Bible wrote, and then the earth became corrupt. Did you see? So it is a, not like another type of human that they were introducing. And let me tell you another. They were not just doing it with women only. They were doing it with dogs. They were doing it with animals. That's what I mean. They were doing it with a lot because they have what they intended to achieve. And, and, and then, until it got to that point where God has to reveal what he also had preplanned to, sh to show that he didn't take him on a ways. You know, like I told you that there is the logos of the God of creation. And so that was it. And then that plan was foiled by the ministry of Noah, who coupled an ark that safeguarded the mankind race that then that was threatened to, to face extinction, to become an endangered species. Mankind became an endangered species. Because of Lucifer. Mankind whose, 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 whose procreation was paid for. And it was a very costly price. How do you think then that person that paid that price. Who was somewhere with his female mother type. Knowing also that there will come a time he will be bailed. How do you think he will, he will be feeling? When also the rain came. Many people. I mean pure hominids too. Many went to where God's go to. And he knew. Then in pure hominids, both the anarchy in question, many went to where ghosts to go to, the side of hell. And he knew. The very father Adam, they knew. How will you think he will be feeling? I remember when Prophet preached the message, he called it the boil under. Pointing to that thing that was called emerald, which was like a boil. And where it will come out is in the hinder side of the people that became victims. And the prophet said it was because somebody was, somebody's anger was boiling. There was the boy of somebody's anger who was in the, in the under. Not the grave. I mean, his ghost was where ghosts go to. And he paid a costly price. That's the reason he will feel that way also. Look at the messages of this preacher. So my point is this. That that strategy was the first one which fa failed. Then the second one is Please, because of time, let me just make this snappy. Even though this is very important. You see. You see, that corrupting the race with the anarchy mix. That's what I was one. Then, also, amongst what came with it is that thing called gay. G-A-Y. Gay kind. Why will a man have feelings towards a fellow man? I want to tell you the root, the origin of it today. Is that person supposed to be blamed for it? No. Is it the person's fault? No. So many people that are that way, they are, I mean, they, they, it's not, it's, they are not faking. It is not like it's a lie. It is not a lie. It is so. It is so. Why? How? I will explain. You see, what will make the man have feelings only, or her feelings only towards the woman, is not functional in angel turned humans. Because angels are neither male nor female. I repeat, what will make the man have feelings only towards the woman is not functional in angel turned humans because angels are neither male nor female. So the origin of such kind of a thing, the man 
oh, God is a man. And I know he will forgive me for using it. I, I tried to see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to use boy. You see? Just using that at all. Or it's just, just for you to understand my point exactly. Because some people feel, you know, like they should be accommodated. This is not, truly, this is not their fault. I'm not saying it is their fault. I'm only explaining things to you that you should know. Just like I'm talking about pure hominis and impure. Are there truly gays? There's people, like male, male, that will have feelings towards a fellow male. Like a man will have feelings towards a woman. Like a woman will have feelings towards a, a man. Yes. There are ma men, I mean like, like, he was, that, like they were born that way. That's what I mean. Not, not being transgendered. Not trying to, no, 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 not in that angle. Like the person only grew up and saw that it was so. Who have feelings towards a fellow man. I'm telling you the origin. Where that came from. Prophet said that what will make the man have feelings only towards the woman is not, or towards a woman, is not functional in angel toned humans. Because angels are neither male nor female. So, like, same gender marriage of today was also in the strategy that Lucifer brought. Why? To depopulate the mankind race. Because he was at a time concerned that they are growing. And the more they are growing, the more he, those, that sect that do refer to him, because Lucifer is in the Bible, is in the Bible. Isaiah 14, 12 to 14. You see? So that people that do refer to him, he, he, like he pains him so, what, so much. That are, he, all those things, like the serpent being referred to. Ezekiel 28 referred to him as well. You know, and, and so on. You know, the dragon, the red dragon, the serpent, the, all of that, Satan. The stories of uh, in the angels, some of this is in the Bible. And he is claiming that the earth is his. Are you getting it? Okay? So, like I said, same gender marriage, same gender marriage. Let me ask you. A woman marrying a fellow woman, look at it yourself. Okay, what about childbearing? No, no, he can, she, they can even, they can, you know, this surrogate guy, because, you know, they can, you can, that's not the point, my dear. You have to be factual here. You are t I'm talking about a system that is endorsed. A system, like in the schools, Western education has made, uh, they, are, they, are, they are telling you that that is something to come into the curriculums. The scheme of works. The, I mean, the, the standards of teaching, okay, things that the children should learn, and that is so, that is reality. Now, nature, nature, like when you talk about something that is science-based, that's what I'm saying now, how life is here. When a woman marries a woman, like husband and wife, that's at least what you call them, that's day. What about childbearing? Is childbearing just about them? Is it just about them? Why would you talk about animals facing extinction? When you see that there are things that can make an animal go extinct. So, what about that one? A, a woman marrying a fellow woman. A man marrying a fellow man. What about childbearing? What about childbearing? You see? Then another is the Roman Catholic priesthood. The Roman Catholic priesthood was also a depopulation strategy. Many didn't see that. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a, see, let me tell you one thing. The serpent of Genesis 3, one of the things they wrote well about that very serpent is the word. Subtle. When you know how subtle witches can be, wizards can be, why do I put that? That's not just a, an impure homage now, but the one whose demons has been enabled. So he manifests that much more. That's like that serpentine, serpentine nature of impure hominids. You see what I explained now? The serpentine nature of impure hominids is much more in a broad manifestation. When the demons, because the demons, because it's the person's demons, actually. <laughs> it's the person's demons. So when that, those demons are what? When that, those demons are activated, like enabled, the serpentine nature becomes much more in the, in the, out, in the like, it has, that, that, that's 
something that the person cannot hide anymore, something like that. But then one of the things you should know is that in, in as much as they are, they can be, they're, they're evil, they are very subtle, very subtle. It means the approach at what he wants to do or she wants to do will be very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. Very, very subtle. The media has also that nature. The media has also that nature. Subtle. When it comes to conveying a message, you see. Politicians has also that approach. When it comes to communicating, conveying a message, passing a message across with a lot of subtlety. Subtle nature. Subtle nature. That was what they were trying to explain. And then, and, then, and, then, and then gave the serpent a lot of what should not be given to the serpent of Genesis 3. It was, it was, it was more subtle than every other beast. Of, and then it looked like he was talking about wisdom. It has nothing to do with wisdom. It has nothing to do with wisdom. It is rather, it is rather if you should talk about the crafts, craftiness aspect of the, the, their construction, their building up of what? Building up of the strategy to go up that's with which they want to carry out their nefarious um, aspirations you know then you use what you talk about being shrewd s h r e w d shrewd 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 crooked crooked that's why you see the serpent moves this way You see, it is so difficult for the serpent to move this way. For the serpent to move that way, eh? then the serpent, that serpent will become a worm. For that worm also to move that way, then that worm will begin to move this way. You see? But you see this? This way, this way. No way. It's right like this. You know what each one means? When it goes like this, it's trying to communicate to whoever that is going this direction. Then it turns. Then it turns, you see. <laughs> That's how Lucifer is. That is how Lucifer and cohorts are. So like I said, there's the corrupting the race with anarchy mix. Then gay came through the anarchy. And I said, what will make the man have feelings only towards the woman is not functional in angel turned human, humans, because angels are neither male nor female. Then same gender marriage, Roman Catholic priesthood, manufacturing of nuclear weapons, all of these things was pursuing the same goal. What was it? To depopulate the mankind race. If possible, a wipeout. But now he's not looking out extinct ex extinction now for some reasons until he achieve a certain thing he feels because he he needs people that will be in the earth in the earth here he as he lucifer desired to be worshipped amongst his desires strong desire was i think it's called um hi quest maybe like quest he has Quest for worship, being worshipped, being worshipped, being worshipped. A cherub, Lucifer is a cherub. The pure homily cherubim and seraphim, they, they are so, they so, they, they are so, they feel so, so misrepresented. They feel so, so misrepresented by this hoodlum, Lucifer and cohorts. If they are watching me right now, as I'm talking to you. I mean, the cher pure homie cherub and seraphim. They'll be like, oh, 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 what a preacher. If he's so misrepresented, so mis misrepresented by Lucifer and cohorts, that is, it's not how the pure homies are. That's my point. It's not how they are at all. So, this is also exposing the subtle nature of the devil. Lucifer. Look at just these few things I mentioned now. Look at that. If it seems to look that way, if it seems to look that way, 
Imagine Roman Catholic priesthood. You say, ow, ouch. The celibacy of the priests. Many were made eunuch by them. <laughs> Many became eunuch by themselves. Many were made eunuch. Many. Let me, let me leave that side. So I'm not talking about I see, what I'm explaining now has nothing to do with castration, okay? Doing what or the other on the body of somebody so that the person will do what you want the person to do and not face challenges that has to do with that thing they call, I mean, you know, that's, that's like, like, like the, 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 the part of the man or the part of the woman that seems to be something that can make the person fall into the kind of temptation or temptations that can threaten the, the, what the person said yes to, or what the person is supposed to embark on or do for the, for the organization and so on. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the aspect of the fact that there is the procreation of the mankind race. And it was, a, it was something that was paid for. Many didn't know. It has a price for it, and it was paid for. When you talk about price for, what they know is atonement. Price for what somebody did. So that one, that person did, was a mess. Well, that, that, they didn't know that was a price that the person paid. That the bail price was another price that was supposed to bail the person. But what the person pays is paid such a price. Such a price. The one that came to pay the bail price is actually the God Almighty. I am, it's the, Jesus is promised, the God in an incarnate manifestation. When you hail him for what he did, he doesn't minister to him. He can do more than that. That's the God. That's the Almighty. Truly, the one that I quiver at times to, at, has to do with the one, like coming through the womb of a woman, you know? And then being, coming in a baby-sized body. And then all those aspects of like the, the, the best carrying that baby, you know? Like trying to breastfeed that baby, and so on. That's my point. I don't even think that Mother Eve, in her reverence to Father Adam, will not be the one to always lean on the chest of Father Adam and love this very chest of Father Adam so much. Like he appreciates this physical body and the person immersed into that body so much that she, she I mean, that, you know, I, I mean, not Father Adam to lean on, to rest on. To love so much and, and so on. The very chests, you know what I mean? Of the very mother Eve, if you understand that. Because there are children that will come and will be breastfed. You see, mother Eve will breastfeed them. So, mother Eve doesn't have to also breastfeed Father Adam first, if you understand what I mean by that. You see, so what I'm trying to say here is this, that when it comes to this homo, this and homo, you know what I mean, when it comes to man having feelings towards a fellow bad, truly, it is not that you blame that person, but I'm only telling you the origin of it. It is the anakim that brought it. And when it comes to the anakim, there are three of the, this outcast breed. There is the Ahiman. That is the first class. That's the full caste breed of an Anak. It means the biological father of that person is an angel turned human. Then there is the Sheshai. And the Sheshai is who just like Goliath, the biological father of Goliath, is an angel on human. If Goliath has brothers, or if the Goliath was not killed by David, and he now marries a woman, okay, and then give put to bed again, that child will not be a full caste anarch. That child will be a, um, a half caste, a half caste anarch, okay? That's a Sheshai. Then, if that child, that, that Goliath, or, or a brother to Goliath, or someone that is 
like that Goliath. That is, whose biological father is an angel turned human. If that, the son to that person marries, that's a half caste breed, okay? Marries and put to child, put to bed. Then if that child again grows up and marry a woman and put to bed again, then you get to the quarter caste breed. So it stops there. That's in terms of my counting, I don't, okay? But the point is that, that bloodline, do you get it? In the earth here, there's always that kind of a thing. Why? Because the, that thing that will make the man, that man in the system, that will make the man have feelings for the woman only, not for a fellow man, is not functional in angel turned humans in the earth here. Why? Because angels are neither male nor female. And that was why they could. Like that's, this is what will help you to know why angels are not supposed to face like angel, like Archangel Michael. Like there's angels also people they come in here. They don't face anything like maybe seeing a beautiful lady. Or so, and then they, the person is like has to resist. Or to, it has nothing like that. They, there's nothing like that in them. I mean in the very angel toned body. Angel toned human body. There's nothing like that. You see, they cannot be, they cannot be, I mean, seduced. It's not possible. It is not possible. So for you to understand that the angels that came to do that, angels turned human, impermanent angels, fallen that came to do that, like has, there's no excuse for that. So they didn't do it out of being, like they wrote, that they saw the, that the sons of us saw the daughters of her, that they were fair and beautiful. That is rubbish. I am telling you the truth. I am telling you the truth. They rather see even human beings, they're like, ah, that's that, the people are in their falling state. They came here for a mission. Angels came, they do come here for one reason or the other, very serious reasons. They don't come here to joke, they don't come here to play. They understood certain matter. Okay? They can follow an air route and come, and follow also the air route and go. It's very, very, very serious. At first, it was even how can they go hard beat, like go hard beat with people, like uh, those that will stay for, for a long time. Those days you see huts, huts, not houses that are so beautiful. Houses built with clay, clay. Roofs with certain things that look like grass, like raffia. The earth lacked a whole lot at that time. Water to drink, water. There's a lot of things now that when it comes to water, like you feel is already brought to the point where you just open it and drink. It was not so then. You see water in the river, or you see water, and as water is. If you have how to filter the water, you'll be gl like you'll be glad. You see, so that was the th that was why Lucifer at the time was like, how are they increased? There? Because there were many factors that were that were looking like these people may not even survive. That may not continue for a very long time, becoming many. This should have becoming many. You see, because one of the things that was be, that was used also to insult for Adam was that. Look at them, like, how, how many are you? E, 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 like, the planet belongs to you. Two of you. Or how many of you? I mean, you know, he, he, were look, he was looking a certain way. So that place in, I think, Isaiah, certain Isaiah chapter, was it 54? Where that sounded like, like, rejoice, oh, ye barren. And ye that have not given birth, something like that. For, for more are the children of the, and than the children of the, <laughs> something like that. It was because of that, actually. Like the cherubim and seraphim, they have one heaven's world. One heaven's world. It is angels that are, they have five different heaven's world, but four are habitable heaven. The fifth one is a limbo. So my point is that the mankind race, in terms of population, they are more than the population of cherubim and seraphim. You see? But the heavens were of terrible, so they are massive, they are, they are very big, and they are also big in size. Okay? And there is a pyramid heaven. It's in pyramid shape. Very beautiful, very beautiful heavens world. You see? So what I'm trying to say is, you know, you need to understand these things. You really need to understand these things. Okay? Conclusively, my point is this. That... Okay, let me... I think I didn't say this. Is there a solution to that? Is there a way to, to for that? You see, when an anak marries a hundred percent human being and then
produce, you give birth to a child. I said that the child is likely, aside being like a sheshai, if if is if is an a full cast that married again and give give birth to this person, or a tal mile, if it's a quarter cast, aside all of that, when the person marries, that's when the person is male who is marrying a female, is different. Okay? When the very sheshai or talmai or even um, ahiman, okay, happen to be a female, happen to be a female, I hope you understand that. They can also give birth to, there is a male, female, but they are fair hominids, certain. God will never send any pure hominid through that. So my point is this. And when male that is 100% a human, that's like human, not a human being, even though is a tear that is likely to go that direction. But when that male is not the one that got that anak pregnant that was a female. Are you getting what I'm saying? Explain now. Thank you. Now, what comes out from the male can be strong enough to subdue the thing in question. Then the offspring may have that thing I'm talking about in a very minimal state. Then also, you know, how, like this, like when the generation continues and it's that way, like that, when it's that way, then also another human being that is 100% marries again an anarch, but it is, but it has to do with the anarch is the female. Then also, also that, 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 that keeps suppressing that and suppressing that. But when the anarch is male, when the anarch is male, marrying the person that is 100% a normal human being, that is when it is so strong. That is, that thing is there. This is just for you to put two and two together and be very careful. Because there are many that are that way in the earth today. There are many male that has feelings towards fellow male in the earth today. Some of them are even in the form of priests. Priests, I'm telling you. Some of them are in the place where people gather to to claim that they, that's the only, those places that they, 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 those they do as nightlife, nightlife, clubbing, even where they do gym. What as in, in many things that are out there, many of them are, that, are there that are that way. Some of them are very, very ashamed of it. That they are not, that they don't go, they, are, they don't do it openly. Because they feel that it, there's the stigma, it, at, it attracts, something like that. And that they can be deserted, that especially in, in this side of Africa. There's, this, there's certain sides of the earth that is not so. And yet those sides of the earth are the ones that are, in fact, the, the, like especially, let me not call names here. I'm just telling you to be careful. You just have to be careful. Because if that was, if that kind of a thing, Regard the cosmic laws, the laws that we are, that are recognized that as a violation in the cosmic laws. It was a, okay, just that it it was so much. It was so much that it they would do that to even with even um, animals. They would do that even with animals. I mean, angel turned human until it was now. That is, the earth became corrupt, and that has to happen. And don't forget that Jesus Christ said, as it was during the days of Noah, I'm telling you what happened during the days of Noah. It was what happened during the days of Noah. Come out of her, my people. You don't have to be in the world and feel, no, it's fine. Salvation is for all. It is not true. Salvation is not for all. Salvation is for pure hominids only. And even the very pure hominids, it's not still all of them that were heirs of salvation. Some, in fact, many were children of resurrection. If you understand what salvation is. This is what I have, I came to share with you today. And my prayer, the prayer from the bottom of my heart, the prayer that is not just words that sounds nice, said only with the lips, the prayer of an 
of a messenger angel, the prayer of an angel of a church, the prayer said by somebody who was sent to achieve a, to achieve a goal, the prayer of somebody who understood the logos of the God of creation, the prayer from somebody who has, who was, who has the leg, who was, who was, who was, who was, who was sent, chosen by God, sent to lead every pure hominid in the earth today. From this Egypt, from this terrestrial kind of a, of a planet, to, the, to where God designed, where God predestined for them, that they should move from here to, without any other kind of transit anywhere. Without any branching of anywhere. For them to have express immortalization and life. For them to be presented, for them to be presented to this God as living sacrifices. Who is not receiving them as people that 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 has that has given their lives to him or that has been that has that has like given so like giving themselves to him. Not at all. But people who will come into a heaven's world with the physical body required for it and to, to come into where he has built for them. It gives him so much joy that these people did not have to go through the humiliation of death and so on. You see, the prayer of that person who is also the person that is teaching you, that is talking to you at this time, that you're looking at at this time, for you, child of the kingdom, is that the networks of this Lucifer, the networks of the prostitute, of the very well, the then well favored harlot mother, the networks of Lucifer and cohorts. That was in a certain place in the Bible referred to as snares of the fowler. The snares of the fowler. The foul spirit is the third spirit. The snare has to do with his networks, traps that he sets. I pray from the bottom of my heart that that snares, that th those traps will never catch you in any way. That like rats move about, like rodents move about, like animals move about, and the trap set to catch them most times has to do with what this, the rats like. What the rats eat, what the animals like, what the animals eat, that the snares of this Satan, of this devil, this malicious slanderer of mankind, this enemy of the church, this enemy of the logos of the God of creation, who was the one that was behind the theory, the abominable theory of Charles Darwin, and so on. That the networks of this accursed one will never in any way catch you. This is a prayer and a decree from me. In the matchless name of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, I make this prayer and decree. Amen. We have come to the conclusion of today's service. Before we say the last prayers, that's the prayers we say before we round up. Don't forget that if you have any complaint or comment on the clarity of our broadcasts or transmission, audio and video wise, especially from all of you watching from outside Nigeria, please email to askprophetobina at gmail.com. Also, if you have questions, if you have questions based on some of, like especially for first timers now, based on some things that you have heard, that you didn't quite understand. 
or that you are not exactly agreeing with, you can also text to this same, this same um, mail address. Ask prophet obinna at gmail.com. That's even one of the main reasons it, 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 sound, it sounded that way. Ask prophet obinna at gmail.com. You can throw that which can throw your questions. For now, we are not, I'm not handling it live. It will grow to that point. Like prophet, when he, when he, when he start, start, he says that, said it can grow to a point of a kind of debate symposium, you see, that can even accommodate rival religious sex. It will get to that point. You see, all of this still meant to harvest pure hominids from every side of the earth, from out of every, every, every place where they were, they were, they were brought into, you know, circumstantially, and so on, to run their race. So, if you have any question, or something you're not exactly agreeing with, you can still tell me about it. Say, but, prophet, this is, what you said here is not true. The Bible said this, and you know, just, you can just throw that to me. It will also help me to touch it again. Maybe when next you watch me like this. That's the next rabbi class. If you, if, you, if you also watch, I can touch it again to explain more. Okay? Because what I am trying to explain are really, really versatile. And the matter, the matter, the matter, when it has to do with what is written in the Bible that we have now, is more than what you think. Okay? Lucifer went so far. To the extent of hijacking even the church at the time. What do you expect after the hijack? What do you then what do you think? If you know what it means hijack of something. So we will say the prayers for transfiguration, consecration, and the grace. Then we round up. O temple most holy, O temple divine, is thy body, O God, indestructible, immortal body, tangible yet invincible, indes in incorruptible in nature and holiness, fearful and overwhelming in glory, indescribable in size, most precious in substance and beauty, neither made nor begotten, I stand in awe and humble admiration of thee. Please make our body, our physical body, our mortal body, to become or migrate or conform to the perfect prototype of thine. Expressly, in the matchless name of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Prayer for consecration. My head is the temple of divine wisdom. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. The word of God, which is the sword of the spirit, is in my heart and in my mouth. The shield of the word of God is in my heart. The shield of the word of God is in my hand. My heart bears the soul and possesses the mind of Christ. I belong to the prophetic presbytery. The grace in fellowship, the grace of our supreme Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the most Holy Spirit remain with us now and forevermore. Surely, immortality plus incorruptibility follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the matchless name of our Supreme Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Until I see you again, or you watch me on your screen again, continue to swim or bask in euphoria of positive metamorphosis. And don't forget, that this is the game changer, the X factor, as far as church ministry is concerned in this earth today. Therefore, brace.
Hello, you are welcome to Rabbi class. This is not in any way a Jewish oriented arrangement or initiative, as it may have sounded to you, but a midweek church service with an interactive session that can graduate to a debate kind of symposium that will accommodate even rival religious sects. This is that messenger that has a lot of explanations a lot of answers to unanswered questions that can reap that can harvest souls of pure humanity in different sects in different religious sects but the kingdom of god is something that if you have not understood that you wouldn't even know the difference between the kingdom of god and the kingdom of heaven It is bone cracking, it is meat busting, it is truly rabbinical. Well, I will counsel you not to miss the episodes as they are epochal and eye opening.